hey, 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 how is everybody? This is the last moment I'm going to come live. I'm thinking, oh, what the heck? I'm sitting here, bored as ever. Open panel is just all, just a few of us here. <laughs> Let's chit chat. I was naughty today. I went shopping. I haven't spent so much money on myself. Hi, Roger. How are you? Hi, Snoops. Hi, Mr. Pork. How's everybody today? I ordered a pizza. I'm drinking. This is the first time I had this. I never had it before. It's called a Blue Moon Belgium White Beer. Never had it before. It is very, very mild and very nice. It's tiny, though. How are you guys today? Are you guys doing good? I got to warn you guys. I bought a toy today. It's an AR-15. Since I've been such a good customer to him, I thought I had a dozen toys, pew pews, but I've only got 10. So I'm too short. I got an AR-15. Hi, Debbie J. How are you? How are you? We're going to do birthday months um, at the end of this month. Oh, but it's, it's, it's a um, semi-automatic rifle. I have a lot of pew-pews, and um, I was hearing is a toy. Yeah, to me, they're toys. Um, I like to shoot targets and all that. I got a 30 out 6 that I'm going to go hunting with the summer. Hi, Freeside. How are you? Welcome, welcome, welcome. I just said, Toy, I was thinking about locking my bedroom door. <laughs> no, I don't have those kind of toys. You want a nine mil? I have several of those, Rogers. Check your text. Oh, okay. All right. So how's everybody doing today? Are you doing doing good today how's it on the youtube streets you hate those what do you hate roger i'm getting a new phone in a couple days i'm done with this old phone how oh. i have spent over two thousand dollars today, guys, and it's just like, what the f? <laughs> what the f? Okay, I entered my pin. It's the right pin, and my phone turned black. You hate those nine mils? I have a Ruger. I love the, I love the Ruger. I love my Ruger. I bought a Smith and Weston today. So, okay, I'm, I'm tr still trying to get to the messages. I'm getting a new phone in a couple days. Might be tomorrow. I don't know. I'm so tired of this old phone. All right, there we go. Getting to the messages. Oh, I hate. I can't complain. It was $29. I bought it about three years ago. And it's still working, but it's slower than a seven-year itch. You love that one? Yeah, see, those are nice, aren't they? And it has a laser on it, too, so I can, it, you know, if they see a red dot on them, they, that means they're in trouble. I want to show you what I bought today. You're right, Snoops. You're right. Your stream was so much fun. My son has 14 guns. He doesn't scare me. He doesn't scare me. The guns don't scare me. I'm terrified of my feet being on the floor in my dark room. I gotcha. I gotcha. Snoop, your life, please put your channel down. Was so much fun today. Oh my goodness. 
guys, I got a PS4 Pro. Oh, you have a Jennings. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. All right. You want to see what I bought today? I'm not going to show you my toy. I'm sorry. Uh, that's against terms of service. And I just ordered a pizza. I just got done eating. You have two. There you go. I think everybody needs to, you know, have protection. I really, really do. I really, really do. What is a PS4 Pro? Okay. It's a PlayStation 4 Pro that you can um, do um, movies on. You can play movies and different things on it, too. And you know what? It was on sale for $194. That is cheap. Oh, I know. It is fun when you can gossip and just have fun and chit-chat. All right, guys. You want to see what I got today? I look like shit, people. I've been out today. I went to two places, so I look like shit. Are you ready? This is my wallet. Now, the front, look, it's leather. But the front here, this is cowhide with real cow fur. You have, yours is a 38? Oh, those are nice. This is actual cow fur on the front of my wallet. Now, here's my purse. It's leather. But the sides here, let me call the other side. This side and this side is cow fur. And the back side and the bottom is leather. And I bought myself real leather boots. I'm so excited. Oh, poor cow. I know, Debbie. I just want to webcam and make me look. Like Bridget Perdo. <laughs> no, you're not asking too much. No, you're not. And why not? You know, heck anyway. Well, I mean, somebody ate the hamburger. Somebody might, might as well use their hide, right? My son got a cowboy hat. He got boots. Um, he I get, got him a, a laptop today. And um, I got myself a PlayStation 4 so I can start playing games. And so, I, you know, I, I play Dead by Daylight and Among Us. And Roger, I'm serious. I want to send you a TV, my friend, so you can start playing your, your PS2. And they have another PS4 that's cheap, Roger. I can send you it. You have a 22 Dillinger. The barrel is over and under. Nice. See, I'm looking for a double barrel shotgun. And um, they didn't have one today. So that's going to be my 11th one. And my 12th one, I don't know. I'm thinking about having matching um, 357 mags short barrel. I have no idea what all that is. <laughs> A PlayStation is, you know, where people play uh, games online or um, or a group of people could do um, get together and play a, a game together. Roger, do it. Yes, Debbie J, you're right. Roger, do an Amazon wish list, please, 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 please. My husband has something like that. There you go, Debbie J. See if he has Dead by Daylight. If he does, I'll, I'll play it with you. And Cal Cal has Dead by Daylight. And Roger, there is a game. It, it's called Bunny Land. And you make different little islands, different kind of bunny farms and bunny you know, towns and all that. I played work. I play work three jobs a lot. <laughs> and here I am looking at YouTube stuff. I know WJ. <laughs> That's a lot of work, girl. That's a lot of work. You you don't do that stuff. You don't do the, the bunny land. 
we'll get you the right stuff so you can have Bunny Land. And then Kel Kel and I will, you know, be your friends and we'll play Bunny Land with you. That sounds so cute. Making a town. Yes, Debbie J, you can have different kind of bunnies. You can make towns. You can have a bunny as, um, you know, the grocery store or, you know what I mean? It does sound fun. And then you can make bridges and go into, yeah, make a land cute. Yes. And with all different kind of bunnies, I thought Roger would so enjoy that. I think he, I think he would. So super snoops, how is your moving going? I have a friend that's coming down here on the 25th and um, he's going to haul my stuff back. I've already talked to a owner of a home and uh, found out after talking to her, I knew her since I was, we were in kindergarten. It was her parents' house. I play a game on my cell phone, garden something. Oh, that sounds like fun, Debbie J. You need to use your husband's PlayStation. Let's see if he has, you know, Among Us or um, I have Dead by Daylight, but I can get other games too. Hunter is always playing his PS4, so you know what I mean. So I got one today. It was under $200 and that is cheap. That is cheap. Um, Monday, I'm going to get a new phone, get the car ready to travel. Going to have a friend driving driving up here, and we're going to get a small U-Haul. And um, he's going to haul my stuff up. It'd be cheaper than getting a big U-Haul truck. So, and I'm going to talk to her. Monday and see if I can and talk to my bank Monday and just buy it. Yes, Debbie J. Yes, I've got hardly anything done here. I'm going to throw about 90% of my stuff away or give it away. And the guy I don't need my house to or buy my house to for a dollar, he wants me to sign the title over and I go, no, not, not till I move, not till I move. I don't want to go, hey, it's my house now. <laughs> you know what I mean? Give it away. I can't legally give it away. I can sell it for a dollar. How many hours are you away from your new home? I'm 21. I'm 21 hours. I'm 21 hours. $12. <laughs> you don't want this place, really. Yes, I'm going to give my stuff away. Hi, Freckle Face. How are you? I'm going to give my uh, sofa and love seat away. I have a coffee table that's like, um, oh, that uh, foosball table inside of it. I'm going to give that away. No, I'm not going to trash it. I'm, I'm going to give it to people who need it. Oh, you're exhausted? And the stuff I'll look over, you know, it's a three-bedroom house um with a full basement i'm looking at that self and love seat going well that would be okay for the basement <laughs> you know what i mean oh you're backstage oh there you are i'm sorry no worries I'm sorry oh i'm so so sorry don't be sorry you're fine how are you kimmy you know i love you right you know I love you. You know too. I love my new. You know I love my new house, right? Yes. Hi, freckle face. You know that I, I, I am looking forward to being in my new house, right? Right. I am freaking sick of packing. <laughs> God. Why do you think I've been sitting here today? I'm like, oh my God, I'm so done, but I'm not anywhere near done. Girl, I just thought it started separating and throwing and and it's just like my I'm house thinking of throwing like my show. stuff in somebody else's yard. What? <laughs> I'm thinking about throwing my stuff in somebody else's yard. Yeah. Put a sign free. Just come and move it out, please. <laughs> Hi, Tilly. How are you, sweetheart? How are you? Debbie J, do you need stuff? What do you need, girl? 
give me a list and we'll bring it to you and all it out. I got a sofa, love seat, uh, coffee table, foosball table. Um, let's see. I have everything. I'm glad you're good. How are you, freckle face? How are you, Mr. Poor? And my big dear problem. My big problem right now is getting a bed for my daughter. Trying to find one. Can't afford one. I put I put a mattress and box spring thing on my on my Amazon wish list. I'm not asking. I just I'm just saying. I put it on my Amazon wish list so that I don't forget what it is that I want. Well, and guess cool what? Look. I don't know what it is. You don't know what it is. No, I can't remember what it was that I put on there. <laughs> <laughs> you need pots, and pans, lawnmower, weed, weed eater. I got those things. I got those things. I got a writing lawnmower, girl. I just bought two years ago. Hi, cow, cow. I paid two thousand dollars for. I got a weed eater, one of those gas things that I can't hold anymore because it's too heavy. But I did tell my uh, one of my sons he could have that. I got anything my dad and sister would beat me to. <laughs> okay. Oh, no, Roger. You mean I can't get you a PS4 and a TV? I need a new bed, too. They cost so much. Yeah, see, I was supposed to get a yeah. new bed with this agreement, but uh, workman's comp wiggled their jerks out of it. You know what I mean? No, I just decided just to pop on, Cal Cal. You know me. But, oh, my cat loves my purse. He loves the cow fur. <laughs> no, he keeps, he keeps rubbing his face. Funny. <laughs> He's that's like, oh, hilarious. I like that. I like that. Well, they are comfy. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. And he caught a freaking mouse. And he came up to my bed to give it to me. And I was still wiggling. Oh, no. If and they're I dead, it's him. one thing. If they're wiggling, it's another. No, no, no. And I knocked, I got him down on the on the floor. And you know that sucker let it loose so he can catch it again, but the mouse was too fast for too fast mm -hmm. for him. Mm -hmm. I found oh, one. You wanna, that I do you want to hear a of. hilarious story about a cat and a mouse? Yeah. Okay, so my son has a cat, right? Yeah. So, um She's never been around cats. She's always been around our dogs. She barks. Right. She barks at the door when she knows it's time for him to come home. She barks. Yeah. Meow, 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 meow. She sounds like a dog. The weirdest nice. dog in the world. Anyway, mouse. <laughs> so one day I went into our bedroom. And yes. she loves to go into our bedroom and sit in the window because we have a south facing window right and she and it faces the road back behind us yeah so she loves to go into our bedroom and get up in the windowsill and just sit there and just watch the world go by you know she just absolutely yeah. loves it so one day i go back there and she was up on our bed and she had something in her mouth oh, and i'm no. like what do you have yeah. And I'm freakish about mice. I hate mice. I oh do too. My God. So I'm like, what do you have? And she looks at me and she wraps her paws around it. And she's like, Row. I'm like, yeah. what do you have? She jumped over the bed. I mean, just leaped from one spot to another, leaped over to where she could get out the doorway, jumped down on down on the floor outside of our door now mind you this is like an eight foot jump literally jumps over the threshold of our bedroom door to goes tearing down the hall the whole time i'm chasing her what do you have give me what you have and she's just like <laughs> running nope. for her life yeah. she comes out and she's got this <laughs> we've got this chair in the living room and she likes to go under there and she dove under there and I'm like, what do you have? And then she came out two seconds later, nothing in her mouth. I'm like, oh my God. And it was gray and it was fuzzy. And I, I, I was like, a mouse. Where did you put the mouse? Did it, yeah. was it dead? Was it alive? Yeah. 
trying to dig her out from under this chair, right? Yeah. Trying to get this mouse. And I'm like freaking out and everything. And then I finally give up because I can't find it anywhere. Finally yeah. give up. A couple of days later, my you son was it? my son was looking for something. And right by the front of the chair was one of the little stuffed mice that I had gotten her a while back. It's gray. It's fuzzy. Of course. And I went, well, okay. The cat did not speak to me for, I don't remember how long it was. It was like three weeks. The cat would not come near me. Every time she saw me, she got up and ran. I'm like, oh, I don't blame you, but you know, chill. in my defense, it was a mouse. Yes. Stuffed yes. mouse, granted. <laughs> <laughs> I'm chasing this cat through the house. I'm like freaking out. Yeah, it was one of the little stuffed mice that we got her from the store. Oh, yeah. That's good though. <laughs> no, no. I've been finding, I don't know where he's getting it, but uh, I have a fan in my window so he can jump out and jump in. You know what I mean? And um, I found a couple dead mice on my bed, like leaving me presents. But those were dead. But this one was moving around. He was shaking his head, trying to kill it. And I'm like, oh, dude. All right. S squish, don't shake. Squish. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shaking, not stirred. I'm just kidding. Yeah. yeah, cats do bring gifts. Yes, they do. Yes, yes they, do. they do. Oh, yeah. I rapper, for stop. You. Rapper, don't start. Come on. Rapper, come on, buddy. Dude. Why don't you come up on the panel and talk nice? Is my it's my sister trailer. I have to live with the same one with my okay. I gotcha. I gotcha. Well, Roger, you know what? It's a pleasure to have someone who is who is that kind and who yes. is that big a part of your life. I don't care why. It is just it's good to have someone you can rely on. And I'm sure she feels the same way. Yes. Yes. Rapper, yeah, Daddy, so he came into mind doing the same kind of thing. Sorry. Got, that's all right. Rapper, you gotta be nice today. Gotta be nice today. Don't be nice. Well, like I, like I said in flavors earlier, you know, we all know that rappers, 38 different people, you never right. know who you're going to get. That's true. I'm sorry. I don't mean to talk over you. No, Shut you're fine. I'll leave. No, don't, don't, don't. Telly says, my cat brought a chipmunk in the house. It was running through the house. I was screaming, trying to open the front door. Oh, jeez. <laughs> So your cat shakes too and says squeeze, huh? <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh my God. Debbie J, I agree. He does not need to be disrespectful. If he can be nice at times, he can be nice all of the time. Maybe he needs to take his meds. I think he just needs to take a few chill pills. Well, you know, I don't mean this disrespectful but bomb i went shopping today and blew two thousand dollars oopsie <laughs> sorry <laughs> oh we saw the prettiest kitchen rug yesterday the other day at walmart i wanted it so bad it would have done so well i want to paint the kitchen like this this really soft teal yeah and it has teal and rust it, it had teal and rust in it and i want to want to paint the kitchen teal and paint the skylight with like a <laughs> a really light rust orange yeah and i think that would be so pretty and it was so pretty and i loved it so much and we went last night 
and it was gone. Thank God, because I was going to try to talk my husband into it. And there was no way he was going to agree to it. And there was no way that I was going to stand there and actually try to talk him into it. But I know he would have given in if I just said the right thing. And it's a good thing it was gone. (laughs) Tilly says she has five big 25-pound Greg dog cats. Wow, they're big babies. Wow. Hi, Daniel. Wow. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Greg dolls are really cute. They're adorable. Are they the ones with the little smooshed in face? I know, I know. This house I found, girl, I talked to the owner tonight. I knew her since I was five years. I mean, kindergarten. She's his That's classmate, cool. and it's her parents' home. And it's a gorgeous three bedroom home, two baths, full basement for $88,000. Wow. With a big deck and a big backyard and a garage. That's nice. Oh, I just. Yeah, our, our garage is the same size as the house, literally. Oh, I love really? It. Yeah. Oh, that'd be nice. I don't know. I haven't seen. I'm going to call her Monday and tell her to take more pictures of it. You know, I need to see the Mm -hmm. kitchen and different things. I talked to her tonight and the furnace is old, but everything else is in great condition. And so I'm thinking maybe a year or two down the road, I might have to put a furnace in it. But other than that, oh, the the woodwork girl is mahogany. Oh, oh nice. it's so gorgeous. Oh, it is so gorgeous. I have a sun. I have a sun. Um, yeah. What's it called? In the kitchen. We have a skylight in the kitchen. Nice. I love it. I love no. my new house. I just want to get there and not have to do anything to do it. I'm so sick of packing and cleaning and packing. And cleaning. Oh, my God. Yeah, I found one freckle face. I talked to the owner. It's um, sell by owner. And um, it's 88000 It's three bedrooms, two baths, a full basement. And there is even a toilet in the bath, basement. Wow. In case you're doing laundry and you have to go to the bathroom. You know what I mean? You don't have to run upstairs. Hi, Morbid. How are you? <laughs> yeah, Cal Cal, he has more, he has yes. more accounts. That dude has more accounts than ninety percent of people on YouTube have pairs but of I, underwear. I like more. I, mean, I like rapper. I do. I do. He has a great side to him. Wow. You know. Oh, Cal He's, Cal, you need to jump up and tell about your spider. Yeah, I haven't got it, but uh, she's excited that I'm looking at it. She's only a few houses down, and she says, oh, come and sit, you know, out on her porch, you know, some days, you know, if I'm getting bored. or And I said, girl, you can always come over and, you know what I mean, to my house anytime. So, yeah, I paid 67 for my house, has five acres, spent 10000 to fix it up. That's not bad. I looked at a house. I thought I could, I think I could get it for 30, but it don't show the inside of it. And when homes don't show the inside of it, that is scary. You know what I mean? Yeah. Well, like with ours, ours wasn't even on the market yet, but the guy who is selling it to us, I mean, it literally never went on the market. We got it without it ever going on the market because, you know, realtors. Yeah, but um, yeah, ours never even went on the market, and the guy who's selling it sent our realtor pictures upon pictures upon pictures inside and out, and I was like, okay, this is a guy who actually knows that the house is is good, yeah. you know? Yeah, and of course it is. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I mean, I'm it, just. It... I'm sorry. No, go ahead. No, no, you're fine. Go ahead. I'm just say I'm just so excited. You know how I, I know your feelings, so, you know, Snoops. You get so excited. It's nice to get in and get settled in your new home. You know what I mean? It's going to be so much fun. Oh, unpacking's going to be a bitch, though. <laughs> oh, shut up. 
I'm still packing. Don't start about start talking about the other half of it. Ew. It's, it's like, oh, oh, I have a good friend. Uh, he's going to drive down here and he's going to put a U-Haul behind his truck. And so I don't have to put miles on my truck, <laughs> get it from Iowa, uh -huh. bring it down and bring it up. So I can drive my car up, which I can give it to the new owner once I get up there. Um, and then, um, he's, he's going to help me, you know, I mean, to get moved in and all that. So, right. yeah, yeah, it's, I just, I don't know, but it's a small town, but it's a happening town and, um, Hunter's talking about joining the army. So I'll be all alone in the three bedroom home. Right. You know, and then the hunter wants to stay and work, you know, out. The home is his after I go home to heaven. So mm -hmm. he don't have to worry about, you know, buying a place. Right. Yeah. Well, that's cool. I'm so glad things are working out like this for you, sweetie. I really am. You deserve to have things happen well. You too, Snoops. You too. Well, okay. I... You better... Yeah, you better, Debbie J. You better. Or I'm, we're going to drive by you guys and saying we're here. And then I'm thinking since I'm paying extra money for the house, I'm thinking <laughs> about renting a, a RV. And then in August, just come and do the paranormal. I'll tell you, it's mine if I if I want it. I, all I have to do is call her tomorrow and go, girl, <laughs> I want it. I'll be, you know what I mean? I'll be contacting my bank. Um monday and um we'll get it we'll get it to you the check so yeah it's mine if i want it that's and good it's, yeah that's cool. and it's a it's a little town it has it used to have three bars i don't know how many bars one little grocery store that's i don't even know if it's a grocery store anymore you know i mean i haven't been back there for a long <laughs> right but it, it, it's a, everybody knows everybody. Everybody knows when you take a shit before you do it. You know what I mean? Kind of town. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's the kind of town I grew up in. That's the kind of town I live in. Well, okay. Columbia, South Carolina is not, it, it's not really like that. But um, the smaller town that I, that we lived in, in Colorado, that's like that. I mean, yeah, I hate towns that I, I I don't mind the town that we live in now because people know your business but they don't get into your business. Right. You know what I mean? Yeah. But Debbie, I'm yeah. gonna be moving to Iowa. Iowa I'm gonna move to Montana. I mean Iowa. What? I'm you're gonna <laughs> what? What? Did I hear? Oh, I'm drinking a beer. Hold on. <laughs> They're tiny. Everything is made tiny nowadays. I'm used to a good big bottle beer. You know what I mean? Not the big huge ounces, but a normal bottle beer. This is a little tiny little couple sips out of there. You know what I mean? It's like, well, we'll get drunk on this one. I'm not planning on getting drunk, but you know, I haven't had a beer for ages. We downsized our home. We went from 1,500 to 3,000. My favorite room is my gun room and reloaded ammo. See, my son can reload ammo. And I'm going to have him. I don't know if I want him to teach me with, you know, the gunpowder and all that. That could be a little dangerous for my <laughs> old memory. <Right. laughs> I'm still going to Paris in June. Oh, Tilly, she's going to Paris, Snoops. Uh really congratulations. When I was young, I would have loved to go to Paris. There's no way I could do it now. I'm way too old, but that would be that would be that nice. would be amazing. And I don't mean I'm way too old age-wise. I mean I, my body has gotten too old. I would never be able to fly like that, but oh my god, that would be amazing. That is great. 
And I know Tilly's going to have a blast. Oh, I know she is. I know she is. Freckle face, we've got to meet, girl. We've got to meet. And I'm going to do the paranormal with Kel Kel. We're going to go pick up Snoops and uh, go there. Mr. Porks, we're going to pick him up and um, Bradley. We've got to go visit Roger and take him out paranormal hunting. I rent the living room and kitchen from my sister. Well, nice, Roger. There you go. There you go. Oh, Paris and Ireland. Yes, I Ireland. I would love to go to Ireland. Oh, you know what I mean? That's my dream. Paris and Ireland are... See, Cal Cal and I are so much alike. Paris and Ireland. Oh, my okay, God. Okay, hold on. Ireland, you can go through the castles. Right? Yeah. There's castles in Ireland, yeah. isn't there? Huh? There's castles in Ireland, isn't there? Tons of them. Yes, there we go. It's, it's one of the with one of the ancient Celtic countries. So yeah, they're all over the place. Oh, okay. uh, and paranormal I would, oh. I would go to the castles in France. I mm -hmm. so how's everything going? Get me away from that topic. I'm just kidding. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna cry over here. Full of ghosts. I bet oh, they are. Man. That would be amazing, wouldn't it? That would be. That would be so, so interesting. So, so, so interesting. Right. Yeah, can I yes, tell you? Tell better start, Our prayers are always with you. You Sorry. better start feeling better. Or I'm going to have to go over there and take care of you myself, you know? You don't want that. <laughs> Old grandma redneck ways here. Your daughter might not approve. <laughs> the only <laughs> thing I do. Oh, anyway. I'm so sorry. I tend to I tend to start talking and just not stop. I'm sorry. I love it. I absolutely love it when you do that. I really, really do. I talk I really over you. <laughs> I don't care. I love it. It's weird, isn't it? I can make a topic out of just about anything. Rapper, that's not appropriate. Right there. You say you're sorry to Cal Cal. She is the sweetest person. Um, Tilly, you know what? There is absolutely no reason why you should not go. My problem is that I'm not allowed to fly because of my because of my um my um what's it called water retention whatever um if i were to fly they're afraid that i would have blood get blood clots because of the altitude and crap like that i hate ah anyway but you know what i i will just ask you to um Take Do pictures? me a favor and take some pictures. I would love that. That would be amazing. It was a four-hour flight. I had flown for 40 years. I loved it. Oh, I know, Tilly. It's, the, it's been a long time since I've flown. I don't know if I would want to anymore with how the world is going anymore. You know what I mean? It's so right. nasty. What did I do, Debbie J? You mean, okay, I'm not sure I know what you mean as far as what did I do. But I will be more than happy to explain once I, once I know what, I, what you're referring to. I'm sorry. I don't like to make assumptions. And earlier I made a, oh, because I can't fly. Um, so, <coughs> um, when I had my gallbladder out years and years ago, I had a massive heart attack because of a, an allergic reaction to the anesthesia. And mm. that was years and years ago. Never had any heart problems since. Didn't actually damage my heart or anything. But because I have what they call um, nonspecific... Um, <coughs> What is it called when you have water retention? Oh my God. 
It's the opposite of dehydration. Um, when what? I'm sorry. Um, what is the edema? edema? Yes, I have non -spe non specific edema or. Well, that's what my doctor calls it. It's, it, it. It isn't related to anything in my body that they can find. I don't have, it's not lymphedema. It's not related mm -hmm. to um, any kind of heart disease or anything like that. But because I had that heart attack when I had my gallbladder out and I have this edema, my doctor says it would not be good for me to fly because I could develop a blood clot too easily and I mean, she's just like this ray of sunshine in my life, usually. Yeah. She's just an amazing person, and I love her to death. But, you know, when she said, you know, I just don't want you to die on board an airplane, I went, well, gee, aren't we in a good mood today? <laughs> <laughs> oh, silly. Like, wow. Thank God you're okay. Thank God you're okay. Oh, I'm fine. I'm absolutely fine. I have you know what? You don't want to know everything that I could tell you about myself, but I am good. I am. I am fine. When I had a you know, heart, thank God I didn't have a heart attack, but it felt like an elephant was on my chest. I couldn't breathe. I couldn't, you know, get that, you know, the pain. Well, I don't know what it felt like to have a heart attack because I was on a, under anesthesia at the time that I had the heart attack because I had the heart attack as a result of the allergic yeah. reaction to the anesthesia. So when I woke up, I woke up in a, a mess. A, yeah, I was feet up in the air, head down almost on the floor. Um, I had needles going into one arm. Yep. I had needles going into one leg. I had, and there I, I wake up to somebody slapping me, literally slapping me to wake up and so forth and i'm like what and he's like you need to wake up i'm like i don't want to wake up he says i know you don't want to wake up but you have to wake up or you're not gonna wake up i'm like what he says yeah. just wake up so you know, yeah but i mean it, wake up. that was 30 let's see my oldest son is going to be 39 on may 3rd so that was um, 30 years ago, 35 years ago, 34 years ago. Yeah. So, yeah, I mean, um, all of that stuff has has developed so much since then. But, I mean, yeah. having having that kind of a reaction to the anesthesia that they used at that time was not at all uncommon. <laughs> <laughs> Tilly, I would say what the F2. I mean, I was having, um, another time I was having chest pains, went to the doctor, right, for a checkup, and I started having chest pains at the doctor's office. They hurried me back, started giving me medication. Since I've been a nurse, I go, what are you giving me? What are you giving me? What are you giving me? He refused to tell me. Then he looked at me and said, I can't help you. Do you want an ambulance or do your husband want to take you to the hospital? And my husband said, I'll take her. And I said, I need a list of things you, you know what I mean? You gave me. He said, we'll call yeah. it in. Next thing I know, I walked into the hospital and all of a sudden I woke up. I was like you. My head was down to the floor. My feet was up in the air. I had <laughs> IVs in the whole arm. I woke up and he goes, welcome back. <laughs> I thought, okay. Wow. But I found out the doctor never gave him a list. So the hospital I went to had no clue what the prior doctor gave him. So when he, they gave me medicine and the prior doctor, it hit and it really sunk me. You know what I mean? Uh-huh. So, yeah. There's also doctors out there that you don't need to go. Are you a um, Starbucks fan? Okay, so from Arkansas to Virginia is about 13 and a half hours if you go the short way. That's not bad. 14, in Arkansas, 
or 13 hours, five minutes, not even 13 and a half hours. I, I, okay. So I'm not playing matchmaker or anything here. Just <laughs> anyway, am I a what fan? <laughs> Starbucks. I love Starbucks. Oh, I'm going to ruin your night. Why? You Have you ever get that pumpkin one from Starbucks? Um, I can't have Starbucks. Okay, okay. Then you're fine because there's no I can't pumpkin. have anything flavored from Starbucks, no. You're lucky because there's chemicals that are in that pumpkin, whatever, that mm -hmm. cause cancer. The hospital doctor was so nice. He said, honey, you're having a heart attack. I was air flighted to the bigger hospital. Wow, Tilly. Wow, Tilly. Yeah, I, um, no, I love Starbucks, but I can't have anything with flavoring because all of their flavorings have so much sugar in them. And, and um, so yeah, I can't, I can't have any of that kind of stuff. I would rather... I would rather have my carbs and the stuff that I truly, truly enjoy rather than just because it's, you know, good. Well, I refuse so. to pay that price of coffee, you know, I'll oh, yeah. get a maker and I'll, you know, get flavor creamer or whatever you need. Well, I can't have those anymore. I'll just, I like it black anyway. I'll just drink mine black. Yeah. Pumpkin spice comes out and I don't mm -hmm. dare. I'm not giving it to, you know what, Kelka, there's no pumpkin in it. It's chemicals. And the chemicals they use is known to cause cancer. Then I found out Taco Bell. Do you know what? It's only 33% meat. And Taco Bell was arguing, no, it's 88% meat. So what's the rest of the percentage? Okay, so here's the thing, Jimmy. Here's the thing. Um, you know, you know, you're told to eat carrots because of the carotene, because it's good for your eyesight, right? It's right. good for your vision. It helps you. It improves your night vision or well, it, it gives you your night vision. It's good for your skin. It's good for your eyes. It's, you know, it's carrots on, on all around really good source of vitamins right. and all sorts of things. Right. Do you oh, know no, what one of the most carcinogenous, um, do you know what one of the, the highest levels of carcinogen are found in? What? Root and tuber vegetables, potatoes, really? sweet potatoes, um, carrots. Yeah, I can you know see all that. of those things that they say are so so good for you, and you need them. I mean, your life is not complete without them because of, of all the goods that they do for your body. Yeah, they have one of the highest ratings of carcinogen levels in the world because they are grown in the ground. Mm. The earth itself is carcinogenic. Yeah. And so there is nothing that you can eat, drink, or live off of that is not going to carry carcinogens. Car cancer is not something that is based on the number of carcinogens you eat and so forth. It's a matter of metabolism and yeah. your the way your body does. So well, you, you know, <laughs> it's more healthier to eat fresh food and vegetables then uh -huh. it is um uh, like chemicals starbucks and and debbie j says um taco bell's meat is horse meat and i don't want to talk about it <laughs> taco Bell today that is gross yeah yeah, Debbie J, we talked about this earlier. There's no way I could become a vegetarian. And I'm sorry, but I love Taco Bell. I'm sorry. <laughs> and you know what? Here's the, the thing. The difference between a horse and a cow is what part of the stable we keep them in. That's well, the I difference. mean, I, I, had know, I, mean, I had pet cows. And yeah, I used but, to, I mean, on the farm, we used to ride them and see who gets bucked off the first, you know? You yeah. know? And they're really sweet pets. They really are, you know. And horses, yeah, Roger. Taco Bell does make you shit. <laughs> um, guess what? It does. 
bomb. I didn't have to um, e-bag for Taco Bell and cigarettes. I bought them. <laughs> anyway, no, I'm being bad. I'm in a good mood. But um, right, I'm I'm, a, I'm worse when I'm in a good in a good mood than I am when I'm in a bad mood. Absolutely, I get into much more trouble. My money hit this morning in my bank, so it's like oh, uh, yeah. I woke up, Hunter. I go, you still want your boots? <laughs> I bought him cowboy boots. He goes, yeah. He wants. Okay, so I'm gonna make you a list of stuff I want. I'm just kidding. okay. Okay, because that's good. You no. know, um, he wanted you know a two hundred and ninety-seven no seventy-four dollar cowboy hat, a two hundred and seventy-four dollar cowboy hat. Wow! And I went no for your first um, cowboy hat. Let's try sixty dollars. <laughs> that's still a lot of money. You know what I mean? That's okay. When I was a kid, no joke, no joke. My dad used to put his Stetson on my head and tell my mom, I'm going to get her a Stetson one of these days. My mother would look at her and she says, you are not paying $600 for a hat for that child. I was like, six? <laughs> he was like, I'm going to get her a Stetson. My mom's like, no, you're not. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Debbie. Thank you. I was just like, I'm so tickled. I'm like, yes, I seen it before. How are you? I just put Rosie back in her tent. I got to hold her and rock her for 90 minutes. Oh, God bless her. How is she doing? Aww. Well, Talk Debbie J, baby. it's a straw hat. It's one of those, it's not a straw, straw hat, but you know, it's a summer hat. And I go, Hunter, I just got mine, you know, a couple months ago for 14 bucks. And it looks like the one you bought. <laughs> seen it but, before i need pictures i oh, want to see what our baby looks like she's yeah. our baby now she's our baby now i don't care she's our grandbaby now hi mint mama hey mint mama hi i appreciate you girl i appreciate you a lot i was just showing i went shopping today i got my um money and i spent too much money today but um, I'm going to stop spending. I'm going to start paying the bills and, you know, I mean, get my car ready to drive up to Iowa. We gave a pork loin to our son. We don't eat pork. Upsets my, oh, really? I'm sorry, Tilly. Oh, I love tenderloins. Oh, I love no, tenderloins. I, mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. I do too. Yeah, I thought of you last night, Mint Mama. I was making myself. Um, it was, um, you know, those noodles, like elbow noodles, and um, I had um, stew meat, and then I put uh, cream of mushroom soup, and I put chunks of mushrooms in it, and got it thick. It was like a beef and mushroom stroganoff. You know what I mean? It was pretty good. I am. I am. I am. Um, I, I I think I found a house. Um, I'm going to call her Monday. I'm going to tell her I want to take it. For it's a three bedroom, two bed, a three bedroom, two bath house with a full basement for eighty eight thousand. <coughs> That's cool. That's I, a good I mean, price. It's, it's a good price. And it's that almost a half an acre time. of a backyard. It's a big backyard. And that uh, back uh, deck is huge. It could hold about two dozen people back there. Wow. See, I wouldn't need, I, I don't need anything that size because if I had two dozen people in my house, I'd leave. They can have the house. I'll just leave. <laughs> um, I know, Tilly, but she's been my friend since... In kindergarten, I don't want to insult them, you know, but uh, yeah, God is good. And Mint Mama, I've been praying for you too, girl. I've been praying for you too. Okay, Freckle Face, good night, and I'll see you later. Good night, Freckle Face, I love you. We know the best people. I'm not kidding. They are. 
they really really are i just love it and please the people everybody who surround us here are just amazing and please put everybody's channel down please put everybody's channel down we want to promote the ones you know our friends here and mint and mama she can cook oh girl let me tell you i i could eat a full meal and watch her cooking and i'll be drooling mm -mm -mm. if the if it only has smell you know what i mean so i can smell her cooking i don't want to interrupt her well if i say it it's still gonna be the same thing just say it hi kimmy hi how are you that's haven she said hi how are you haven are you gonna go paranormal hunting with us in august what she wants to know if you're gonna go paranormal hunting with us in august i'll go oh, she said okay okay I'll that go. sounds fantastic yes i have it. i have my headphones on because otherwise i can't hear literally cannot hear i understand so. i've been watching a lot of those paranormal videos with selena spooky boo and call me chris well there you go I'm gonna oh, go we're to gonna do it in state penitentiary. We're gonna do it in person and we're gonna live it. I mean live stream it. Snoops is gonna oh, live stream it. Cal Cal's oh, gonna man. live stream it. I'm gonna live stream it. We're gonna go. And I'm gonna I'm gonna it. live stream it. If I get to go, I'm live streaming too. That's why I said you get to live stream it. And I'm gonna buy um uh, paranormal tools. So Picture sent to Kimmy and Snoops. Can you share them quickly if you wish? Oh, you betcha. You betcha. Are you sure you want me to share them? Huh? I said, is she sure she wants me to share them? <laughs> okay. Anybody wants to see? Oh, my goodness. She's a cutie. Okay. You guys want to see Rosie? Yes, I want to see our baby. Okay, this is Rosie. Thank you, seen it before. I'm so glad that you sent some new pictures. She's so gorgeous. Oh my Isn't God, look at that. Precious? Oh, Isn't she's she grown so much. Oh, seen it before. She has gotten so big. She is oh. so adorable. She, she is so is. adorable. Oh, look at that baby. Look at the size of those hands. She's going to be a giant. Holy crap. Look at the size of those hands. Wow. It could be the angle of the camera. Hold on. You know, a little closer to the hands than to the face. Maybe. I did oh, too. too. I did too. I, uh, I am literally the person who walks through Walmart and goes, oh, baby, and my husband has to go, no, this way. And I'm like <laughs> fighting against it. Nope. I got to see the baby. <laughs> he tells people, he, Brian will literally tell people she's harmless. I swear. <laughs> she just has to see she's not stealing the baby. <laughs> so, yes, she is tiny, but. But she's gotten so big. She's so much bigger than she was. She looks so good. Look at all that color. Oh, my God. She is adorable. Oh, oh. She is absolutely adorable. Oh. And we are going to stop up. squinch that little thing. <laughs> I love to smell the little head, the hair. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? The fresh baby smell, you know, yeah. and the smiles. Oh. Get upset when you look at babies. Some do. I'm not around here, Debbie, because there are so many people around here who baby have babies, and it's such a small area, and everybody's used to people looking at babies, and and so everybody forth, knows so. everybody. Basically. Yeah, everybody knows I'm harmless, but <laughs> in 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 a lot of places. But that's why I'm not I'm not real backwards about it. Is because I've worked at Walmart for four and a half years, and yeah. I watched. 90% of the kids that are between, you know, a year, well, newborns now, um, they, you know, from what, 
from about age eight to infants now. I've yeah. watched most of them, not literally watched them be born, but, you know, watched as parents announced that they were having babies. And I mean, the whole thing. So it's, um, they, they all know I'm harmless because they all know me. <laughs> So. You're all starting to walk. My grandbaby, um, he's starting to roll. My little no. grandson's starting to roll. So, yeah. Yes, Roger, everybody farts. But but better be careful with babies. They do more than <laughs> fart. If the, you hear a little rumble in their uh, diapers, <laughs> it might be more than farts. And as a mother, you get very accustomed to the mo the motions and the little noises that they make yes. so that you can go, oh, here, honey, would you take him? I need to go out to the kitchen and, or, you know, go into the bathroom and wash my hands or I need to do something, you know, just in time to where as you're handing them off, you hear. Yes. <laughs> oh, hey, Rojo. Welcome, yes. welcome, welcome. The sound That's effects were necessary. <laughs> Changing the diapers doesn't bother me. It's just when it goes up the back and down the leg, and you're thinking, ah, oh. you know what I mean? Rojo, when it's hi. Out. Right. And when they fuss, give them back to the mothers, right, Debbie J. Right. Yep. Well, that's good, Cal Cal. I mean, I have uh, three granddaughters and one grandson. So, and I already informed the parents that I'm going to have the grandkids for the summer. So be prepared. <laughs> you know what I mean? And uh, my grand, I mean, my son told me, well, mom, uh, his wife, <clears throat> she's so sweet and lovely. Nah, anyway. Uh, she's she just don't like me. That's all right. She told me she don't like me because when I first met her, uh, she came with a little girl, which it's no big deal. I I love her and my son loves her, right? The little girl, and like his own child, right? But she carried this child out in a blizzard with summer, with a short sleeve shirt and little shorts on, with no nothing on, no blanket, no nothing. And I go, what the F? I said, you're lucky I don't report you. So we we went and got, I, I made sure the car was nice and warm. And we kept the kid in the car with the mama. And and my son oh, wow. and I went and got winter clothes for the baby. You know what I mean? And ever since then, uh -huh. she don't me. I'm exhausted. I've oh. changed six poopy diapers in the last 24 hours. Oh, no. Oh, no, Rojo. <laughs> So, um, do you guys want to know how many grandkids I have? Yeah. Um, there are eight boys, oh. six girls. Wow. That is great. Yep. Yep. All together, we have 14 grandchildren at the moment. Oh, that is awesome. So, yeah. Grandkids are the best. I'm sorry, but they are the best. And so when I, uh, I mean, okay, we all know I don't like Michelle, but I could literally cry that she is never going to have the kind of relationship with grandchildren that the rest of us get to enjoy because would it not be amazing for her to be able to be a grandmother to her grandkids if she were a decent person that is what i mean grandkids are why you raise your own children yeah and don't drown them at birth you know yeah I mean, some animals actually have the right idea. 
<laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. No, but I mean, seriously, you know, my heart breaks for people who will never get to experience that with their own children because they've chased them away. I agree. So, and we all know I hate Michelle. I truly hate Michelle. The woman just, but at the same time, I still go, you know, you've ruined that part of your life that could have been one of the most amazing, most miraculous parts of your life. Look at, look Sorry, at what's Debbie, going Debbie. on with little Rosie. I mean, we've yep. all adopted little Rosie because she's amazing. You know, seen it before. You need to make a wish list. Yes. For Rosie. I agree. I think a lot of people would really, really, really appreciate that. I truly do. From Amazon. Yeah. And Michelle, where's Jake? Where is Jake? What have you done with Jake? Well, see, Cal, Cal, that's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. I would feel sorry for her, you know, if it if it weren't her fault. I regret that she is the person she is to where that's what she's going to miss out on. She's going to miss out on the best parts of life. It's all her own fault. I don't feel sorry for her. I don't feel sorry for her grandchildren. But I, there's no way that she deserves or should have anything to do with any grandchildren. But no, I, no, I can't keep up with five. I had all daughters, so I'm the grandma they run to. I had four of them. My oldest daughter, 37, shocked us all and finally got a granddaughter. Oh, read this one. My stepson and his girlfriend have been arrested and are charged with possession. <gasps> Good. Oh my God. And endangerment. Well, okay. Seen it before. We all knew that that was, we all Could knew that that was, that that was where this was all headed. Yeah. Um, I think it's horrible that you are having to do, you know, that you're having to go through this with, with her parents and so forth. But if I might interject a ray of hope here, on my own part at least, um, maybe you can get, maybe you can get custody of Rosie. And well, I mean, at our age, what, I know that's so hard, hard, but that baby deserves you so much. Yeah. She has you, I've seen it before, and she is so blessed so blessed that she has you in her life and what's going to be hard is when she gets older a lot of medications won't work because she's already her body's already immune to that kind of you know she, she was born on that and has to detox on a lot of stuff it makes it harder for them to medicate later on in life but i was just gonna say yeah because She's already got that that preset yeah. addiction. Yeah, she can't. She she'll never be able to do take certain medications. Yeah, but you already have custody. Yes. Good. Oh my God, seen it. Before. Congratulations. You know her life. The be very beginning of her life started out so rough, but I mean that child is going to be so cared for. And okay. I'm going to cry. <laughs> I just, well, you I know, mean, it's, it's like they always say, out of the ashes come the roses. Yep. Yep. You know, that child is coming, literally coming into roses because that's her name. And I think it's perfect because yes. that old saying, out of the, out of the ashes come the roses. And that is. I mean, that is exactly what is happening here. I mean, in every literal sense, that is what ha is happening for this child. I'm going to mute. It's, it's all right. Thank God she has used in it before. 
she is a very blessed child to have you in her life. Um, and it just, every moment you spend with this child, it's a blessing. She's a blessing. So um, it's going to be hard work, lack of sleep, but it's going to be so worth it. So worth it. It is awful watching him go through withdrawals. He's nine now. And he still has social issues from being born addicted. I'm sorry, Tilly. I am so sorry. I do, Debbie J. I have some things posted about my twins, but nothing on Rosie yet. Do you have a wish list, Amazon wish list, seen it before? Yeah, please uh, put seen it before's uh, page down so we can uh, sub up to it and see your wish list. And don't forget Roger, he has a cute little channel. I can't video in. Okay. But when, when you get time... Seen it before. Can you drop your channel link down so we can sub up to you? You all know I'm a softie, and when it comes to the babies, I'm especially a softie. I'm sorry. Yeah, it, it is awful to watch him shake and cry for hours. But mm -hmm. I worked I worked in a mental hospital for kids, and what is sad is when a per, when that child came into this world addicted and he has issues because of what was in the system that the doctors have a hard time giving him medications to help him because you know mm -hmm. what I mean they're immune to what they already can give him you know what I mean because of his addiction or was thank you Kelka. thank you and um, I'm going to go through it, seen it before. Yeah, so put a lot of things down for your twins and Rosie. It takes one strong adult to make a child feel important, loved, and protected. Right, Rojo. Right, you got it. Um, seen it before. On your, on, on your channel, um, add to your about page and put, if they have... Um, there's an area on your about page for you to add your, um, you know, your links, put your PayPal, put your cash app. I mean, assuming you have these things, not assuming, but if you have these things um, and put your Amazon wish list, because I can, I can pretty much guarantee you that there are still, that there are people who will want to help, help. you out and, who would be blessed to be able to help you out because what you're doing is amazing. And you shouldn't be able, you need, you're going to need help. And I, I'm sure there's a lot of people are wanting to help you through this hard uh -huh. struggle you're going to have to make your life and Rosie's life and your twin's life easier. So, um, yeah. Put them down so we can help you. I truly thank God every day that my daughter, our amazing mothers, I know how easy it can get involved with the wrong things. Right, Rojo? Very good. Very true, Rojo. I'm I'm very blessed that my kids all avoided all of that sort of thing, too. So, but yes, seen it before. If you have a PayPal, if you have a Cash App, if you have, and, and make sure you, that you get an Amazon wish list for, for, um, Rosie and for the twins and put yeah. it on. And I, I'm very sure that people would love to be able to contribute because it would make them feel as though they are helping because I mean, we've kind of adopted that baby. And you know, Snoops and I will promote it. I've seen it before, you know, we will promote it and I'll, I'll help what I can, you know, because, you know, it's hard. Yes, Debbie. De Debbie J is exactly right. Make sure you add some gift cards so you can get some stuff oh, yes. that you want, need, that you, you know, that you come across that isn't, that aren't on your wish list and things like that. Yes. Right, Debbie J, right. And I feel good that I can help now. Before I was counting pennies, but now I can breathe 
a little bit so you know i can help out um this month i'm going to give a hundred dollars worth of meat to um people who are hungry and then um in about a couple weeks i want to do um march and april birthdays and i want to give out uh three gift cards for march from amazon and three gift cards for april birthdays amazon yeah. gift cards seen it before you are not a beggar stop that right now it's not a matter of it, it's a matter of community it's a matter of family this isn't this isn't about whether or not you have the money to do it it isn't a matter of whether or not it's something that you all right you know th this is community this is family this is us wanting to be a part of the process okay seen it before shut up we love you we adopted rosie hey. we want to help okay. you so so we will promote it we're going to do what we can to help you out so you're not alone fighting this battle we know how hard it is to fight it and um just seen it before we got your back and this is why we snoops and i and and i'm sure kel kel and everybody have these channels so if we can help people out that's what we're here for we're we are a family here we we are a family and we have each other's backs and yes wj i'm going to give it to the food bank yes i asked them if they want money or food or what kind of food and they said meat so i'm going to go get a hundred dollars worth of meat and give it to the food bank a hundred dollars worth of meat but no that's awesome well i'm going to go amazing. to the dollar store buy a hundred dollars worth of you know meat don't buy food the from the food meat. But those do not rings. buy food from the dollar store. We learned that lesson, Kimmy. Don't buy food from the dollar store. Not, not those rings. Not those Polish sausage rings. I wouldn't buy anything from the dollar store. Okay, I'll go not, to Food Lion. Food. And buy, okay, I would I'll not go buy to food from the dollar store. That's true. I'll go to Food Lion and buy a hundred dollars worth of meat, or I'm going to see if I can find uh, a butcher. Do you know what I found out after we after we were after you did that video about um the dollar store food and so forth um you know what i found out is that um the dollar stores will buy up uh food from other fact from factories and so forth that other that others won't take because it's been left in the warehouse for too long or air conditioning has gone out and it's gotten warm and and they will literally buy what should be thrown away thank and you sell it. well you know what's really weird okay before the settlement i did go down i was in the line for free food right do you know mm -hmm. they give us a bag of something that we have no idea what it is looks like somebody cooked it and put it in a bag and tied it up Oh, wow. See, ours won't take anything like that. Our food bank here, it has to come from stores. They won't, or it, they also have the, um, they also have, um, community gardens where yes. they grow and pack their own stuff, but, um, they won't, um, they won't take anything that it doesn't come from a store or from their own gardens. They won't do it. Yeah uh dance club is a great idea mm -hmm. it really is i'll i'll go there and deer me if i can find some deer meat i don't think it's hunting season here yet so i can't but um i will go to sam's clubs or whatever or a butcher and see what i can get and no i didn't it smelled terrible it it, it told, and then we were looking at the meat that they gave us it expired in February or January. Mm -hmm. So that's what you get in the food. Yeah, I know. I mean, I, I want to give something so I can buy a lot of it. So a lot of people get it instead of just a few. You know what I mean? Because yeah. roast and all that, that's only going to go. You know what I mean? And there's people that 
saying they're for two families and they're not. And then I find brand new SUVs or brand new trucks or brand new, you know, they give you deer meat. I don't know what it is. It smelled like broccoli and it was hard chunks of meat, like leather in there. And it was nasty. It went bye bye. I could I, I I didn't know what it was. It's just like it was nasty. Yeah, around we have we actually have um, food processing plants here, and um, or you know meat processing plants here, and so they will um, they will take meat in trade for process of processing fees. Of course, you know you go in and you you know for for this many pounds of meat, they'll process the entire order, you know, the entire animal. And, you know, they, instead of you paying them, they take part of the meat and so forth. And, um, so it, um, you know, they will actually donate. And one of the reasons that they do that is because they will donate, um, but I mean, it's a professional processing plant. It, yeah, they wrap yeah. everything in plastic. I mean, it's like a, it's like you would go to the store and buy it. It's right, wrapped right. like that, you know. Right. And so they will donate a lot of that to the, um, to the shelters, and to the food pantry and so forth. There you go. Um, you know, and then they will, and once a month they have a huge sale, where they will. You know, for like for fifty bucks, you get this box full of of meat. You know, and it's like one hundred and fifty dollars worth of meat, kind of mm -hmm. thing. So, you Hi, know, I'm I mean, really love to give to the community. Debbie J, you say you're trying to be vegetarian one more time. So help me, you're not gonna have problems. <laughs> it's not gonna happen, was... Debbie J. Give it up. <laughs> I'll tell you what, I'll go and have a big steak in Iowa and I'll show you how tender it is. You don't need a knife. And I'm going to go as big as your plate and go, Debbie J, are you sure you want to be a vegetarian? <laughs> but I bet, I bet it was deer meat, but it was like little strips of leather. And it's just so they put broccoli in it and rice and and I took a bite and I just spit it out. It's like, ugh. One thing I have a very difficult time doing, and that is eating the food, the cooking of someone I don't know. I will not do it. If I don't know you, I'm not eating your cooking. There are two reasons for that. Number one, I don't know whether you know what I like in my food and I'm afraid of what might be in there. Like, and two, like I don't cooking. know what you're <laughs> cooking what your cooking strategies are if you know what i mean yeah it was debbie day it was i would be scared that it would be someone like ms cooking or yeah. uh hi cheesecake hello welcome welcome or it could be um it's not peppercorn it's really rat poop in the, <laughs> the pots and pans and rat piss in the bowl and no no thank you oh yeah how are you today, cheese? Oh, cheesecake! That cheesecake that you had. Would you? Oh, it looks so good. Oh, I gotta order some cheesecake. I really do. Hi, Black. How are you? Okay, stop about cheesecake. I gotta get some now. Hey, cheesecake! Hello, hello, Black. Hello. I'm sorry. I'm seeing people I really love. Most of them, anyway. I, you know, I mean, I love everybody anyway, but, um, I'm here for it. Did I see you? Hello, she's here. Hello. She's driving. Oh, she's oh. driving. Uh, she's always driving, working. Mm -hmm. These people, I'm telling you, these people are so dedicated that they, you know, they drive, they work, they listen to us. Yes. <laughs> Hi, Black. You're freezing, cute. but okay. I have a heated blanket on. Thank God for heated blankets. Wow. The summer each year, I love canning vegetables. See, I want that backyard is so big. I bet I could have a garden in it. Kimmy, are you going to take your bed with you? No. 
You're not? Okay, well, pick it up and clean underneath it anyway, because we did that yesterday with our bed. Um, yeah. Brian and I, Brian and I, um, we took it off the frame. We took the frame out from under it after the yeah. day, because I wanted it on the floor, so it's easier anyway. But, um, so, um, I recommend cleaning out from under it because it was mud. Oh. Uh, uh, underneath our bed when i cleaned underneath our bed it was mud it was, it was no i'm going to throw my bed i'm going to throw my bed away because it's old oh okay so i'm going to toss it i'm going to get all new down there yeah. hello bradley how are you hey Brad. why why did you why did it have mud under there was it from like a puppy or something no it was from the fact that it's a floor and it was underneath the bed and <laughs> Yeah, I just I built had... today. Today I just built a uh, like a skirt for a bed. Mm -hmm. It's really cool. Make it like all pretty and like this. I was gonna uh, say I want to see the skirt. Stand up. I ain't got a skirt. I got like my my um my pirate shit. I got in Saint Augustine. Nice. Yeah, he's got tassels and shit. Nice. I was after this for two freaking years, and I finally got it. You know what I got today? What? I got a purse with cowhide on it with fur and leather. I've got a belt with a cow fur and leather. I got a uh, AR-15. Um, hey, no, there. no. We talked about this last time. <laughs> what the hell? It goes with my AK. Did you see my picture in my military, uh, my military video with my M16? Nice. Oh, nice. My M16 was made by General Motors. That one was. I had a Colt. I had a Colt. I had a Mattel. I had a Mattel. Like the gaming. And then I had a, a General Motors one. I've got a dumb question. Mm -hmm. What in the hell is Kingpin guns? They make guns. Kingpin. I've never heard Kingpin before. Have you heard the company Kingpin? Mm -mm. They're selling guns, and it was Kingpin, and they went eight hundred dollars. And I'm looking. I'm not going to buy a gun that I have no idea who the company is. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. All you got to do is look for those. Um, back in the day, back in like two thousand, they didn't. Ha they had a carbon this this carbon tube that would cause it to be auto yeah well it would get gummed up from all the carbon and stuff so what they right. did is they took a shaft with a little carb oh where'd snoops go she hit that back button didn't she yeah yes, I do that. Did. um so they had this they put a rod in there and just made the carbon like at the end of it that way it only it, it wouldn't get gummed up no more it's a simple engineering solution there you go there you go. Hey, what? I got to watch the chat. My buddy down there. I know Black. Careful, she's going to spank you. No. I, I She conceded. Or what? Do you, what is it? Not conceded. Is that the word I'm looking for? She like won't throw up her competition um, manicotti like I did. Even though I was like seriously drunk. Oh, there you go. That I all had all got out of hand. Did you notice I recycled the uh, the jar, the spaghetti pasta jar? <laughs> she bowed out gracefully, she said. She just found out that I'm homeless. She didn't know that about me. You're homeless? No, you're not. I yeah, I stay, I stay with my widower's club. These are, these are my friends. I don't oh, live here. Right. Yeah. Tilly says she has um, five Henrys, seven Glocks, five revolvers, and a Kyber, K I B E R, five signs of bunch rifles. Nice, Tilly. Nice. Isn't doesn't Tilly ride motorcycles and stuff? Well, I'm gonna buy a trike. Hey, guess what I found today? What's that? I found a three bedroom, two baths, a full basement with a big almost a half an acre backyard with a big ass patio deck for eighty-eight thousand. 
you gonna have me pave it again or pave I, I pay a lot of shit. I do a lot of concrete work. Well, I mean, everything is, looks, the only thing she said is, and I know this gal since I was in kindergarten, she says the only thing I might need in the near future, she says, she don't know when, she says the uh, furnace is old. Like when's the house built? In the 1900s but the woodworking the mahogany is great oh the mahogany yeah she drives a harley i've seen a shotgun with three barrels have you really roger i'm still That's looking a, for a double barrel shotgun i was reading kel kel's comment this hopefully the snow will be gone until no Gone until November or December. Oh, who the hell needs a three barrel shotgun? <laughs> they, you know, they they have the the you can. I, don't know. I shot a shotgun once, almost blew my shoulder off. If you can afford to do it, Kimmy, I would replace the furnace before you even move in there. You know, Cal Cal, that might be a smart idea, and yeah, I can afford it. You See, know what? Tilly, Tilly, Tilly has a damn Harley. I knew it. I knew uh -huh. it. She, uh -huh. hey, I got, we got new neighbors over here. You know what, Bradley? I have what? many, many toys. I'll let you play with them. Between no, I don't need toys. I got plenty. I got a fucking jacuzzi. I got a jacuzzi hot tub on a trailer. Bradley, I, I was toys about a 12 gauge, an AR-15, an AK-47, <laughs> a 45 semi you, see, I know I love you but I'm anti-gun you didn't know that about me well it's okay you'll be a target I'm also an open borders kind of guy you didn't know that about me either because every time you mention it it's always funny how you be like I'm always in there <laughs> we're just gonna like open the borders I'm just open gonna end it Mexico, you know how much make it all you know what? You know how much drugs they are coming through over the borders? No, I don't because I don't buy drugs. Remember, I don't take drugs. Do you know what they found in the Midwest? What? The cow that was what? killed and was butchered out. Guess who did that? They went to a farmer's pasture and killed a cow and cut it up. What? And chupacabra? What? Chupacabra? What was it? What killed the cow? Let's say because of the open borders. We got a big old wall down there that's collected sand. And like you can see like three foot of the top of the wall. Otherwise, you just walk up the sand and just hop over down there in McPherson, Texas. That's sad. Oh, my battery's dead. What the hell? We have a shooting range in my backyard. Nice till eight. Let's not get into drugs coming over the border. Those drugs do kill. Those drugs killed Paul. Right, Cal Cal. Right. <laughs> so does COVID, so does vaccine. COVID vaccine. Uh, I didn't get to see vaccine. I was the rebel that said no, and I never got it. Yeah. I didn't even wear a mask. Those are two different things, Kimmy. Wearing a mask at a vaccine. You know that you're a Where's my phone? You for? My damn motorcycle won't start. I got to get batteries up. You know, I'm going to order those chaps for you that you sent me the link to. Hey, yeah, I was looking. There's a place called uh, Papa's Harley or some shit right here. Yeah. But I'm going to be a mean. I'm going to be a mean for you. That way, when somebody donates $400, that's when you can play it. Other than that, you're not allowed to play it. Oh, 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 really? Yeah, wait. Or Am I wearing Wranglers under that? That's your choice? <laughs> oh, okay. If it's Wranglers, then it's like 50 bucks. I don't give a shit. I don't care. You, you, you can wear... You don't have to put anything underneath the chaps. It's totally up to you. 
You gotta get me yeah. grounded, Caleb. You gotta get me grounded. Check out my hat. I finally found nice. it. Nice. Nice. You probably I can't like see it because it's camouflage. I like it. You know, my mom has chaps and it has real buffalo fur on there. We're not talking about chaps, kid. They are so heavy. They're about 75 pounds to lift those chaps. How many subscribers you got? Like 600 something? Yeah, I think so. I, I, got, I got 110 subscribers, okay? And I really had to strive for the last 10, okay? And most of them are, are probably here. I probably know every one of them, okay? And my mom, too, right? Um, all chaps are going to do for me is I'm going to go back to, like, five subscribers. So we're not doing that. I love you, but we can't. See, Black has, uh, it, yeah, but Black says buttless chaps, huh? Do they yeah, make Black any Black other Black. kind? Black says she has uh, black leather chaps before, right? See, why can't Black be the meme? Why can't she what? She'd be the meme. Like whenever somebody drops some money, you play the little video, the yeah. loud-ass video for 10 seconds. Please don't do that for me. Um, I'm flying out to Chicago uh, Monday. Are you? Yep. Now I'll be all over the road again. Oh, no. Are you really? Yeah. You decide to take that job back, huh? No, not the same job. Okay. All different right. company. Different company. Different different company. There you go. Yeah. There you go. As soon as I get in my new house, we'll have a barbecue. We'll have some homegrown steaks there from Iowa. Is it in Iowa? Is that where it's at in Iowa? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And I don't How's have it? nothing but uh, do that furnace and then it should be fine. Oh, the mahogany wood is so gorgeous in there. Just go buy those plug-in um, radiant heaters from Lowe's. Those things are great. Oh, yeah. Especially up there in Iowa. Holy shit, I've almost died in Iowa so many times. The winter gets cold as shit out there. Yeah. They're in, what is it, Davenport? Yeah. There's a curve there where the skull, skull house is. Yeah. And and I was like, like I came through on 80 and there was like just trucks everywhere. But I run like um, Google Maps so you can see that there's already traffic slowed down or, or right. stopped. I slowed it down to like, I don't know, 20 mile an hour. I come over that hill and it was just slick. It just wasn't. So I let off the brakes. That way you can hold traction. Right. And there's cars and trucks just laid over every damn where I made it through. And I drove on over. That was just, that was like Grinnell. And then um, I made it over to Davenport. And we were all going about 45. And then all of a sudden, this dude come hauling ass through on the westbound. What is that, a 280 or something going around yeah. Davenport? Yeah. And he, he flew across and he went right through an 18 wheeler. I was like, holy cow. If I had been like 30 seconds sooner, that would have been me. Oh, shit. Hi, mm. Bell Bell. Yeah, it, 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 gets, it gets dangerous up there. It really is. Yeah. Last time yeah. I went through, there was just some dude broke down in the in, there in uh, Des Moines. He was just broke down there where I thirty five overpasses or where uh -huh. it merges together, and uh, the dude was just broke down. No reflectors, no lights, no nothing. Just broke down in the slow lane. Of course. And a car was passing me, so I had to dive on the shoulder. And them. then that then that became the 35 on the 80 ramp, and yeah. I missed the truck. Man, I was it oh, gets crazy shit. out there sometimes. And of course, you know, I haul chemicals, so it yeah. gets interesting with that. Yeah, you just don't want to um yeah, have an accident on the road <laughs> and have everything going all over the road. The only wreck I've ever been in was in St. Louis, 15 mile an hour. Uh, dude just got, he do just come running over the barrels like uh, go down to one lane he just come running over the damn barrels and just ran right in my truck 15 mile an hour <laughs> St. Louis what the hell was that? St. Louis is a death trap those people do not know how to drive I swear to god I like oh. the Illinois side that was that 255 around yeah. but they were doing construction on it that day 
my favorite route. We drove through what? Indianapolis when we went to um when we went out to West Virginia. We drove yeah. through Don't Indianapolis. Push. Thank you, sweetie. Don't push the lid down. I won't. I Thank overfilled you. it. Sorry, my daughter got me some soda. Um <laughs> we went with that we drove through Indianapolis. And okay, so everybody knows the Indianapolis Raceway. I mean, who doesn't know the Indy 500, right? I mean, you cannot follow anything right. to do with life and know what the Indianapolis 500 is and Indianapolis Raceway. So there was car, there was traffic zooming and zipping and everything. And I was like, oh my God, we're going into Indianapolis, Indiana. I was going to pull over so that Brian could drive because I was driving. I was like scared to death. I mean, we all know Indianapolis racing. People are going to be stupid, right? Right. Uh, you could not ask for safer highways all the way through that entire really? city. People were considerate. People were, they were driving the speed limit. Maybe when did you go through that? It, it wasn't this, it wasn't in the past year. There's no way. It was in January or February. Was it really? Yeah. And it was, I mean, people were nice. They were, I mean, it was great. It was absolutely great. We loved, I loved going through there. And then when we turned around and came back, we went through there again. Same thing. And then we got out of Indianapolis and we were, we were coming home and so forth. And, and I was like, and I drove through Indianapolis both times. Both times I was going to pull over and miss the, the last exit to pull over so that he could drive. <laughs> I drove through there and it was great. It was absolutely wonderful. And then we get back home. We come all the way back home. Everything is great. I had driven through Indianapolis, Indiana, the great speedway of the world and had absolutely no problems. We got home and I found out that that day there had been 27 accidents in Indianapolis, Indiana. That sounds and I went, I, are you kidding me? I happened to be there. We happened to be there at exactly the right time. <laughs> <laughs> you know where else I hate to drive is Nashville. Never Isn't it horrible? Yeah, Nashville's got the 24, yeah. the 40, the yeah. 65, I think. Yeah. And oh. it that like Indianapolis has a loop around it all the way yeah. around. Yeah. Uh, and uh, Columbus, here. Oklahoma City does too. And, and, and Dallas is actually the worst. But Nashville, it's a guaranteed traffic jam every damn time. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Good night, Roger. Sleep tight, sweetie. Roger out. I want to go to Tennessee. I was wanting to ask him about some Mr. Potato Heads. Hold on, Roger. We want to ask you about Mr. Potato Heads. He's got him. I need to buy some. Roger is looking for a wife for his birthday. A wife? Yes. He wants a wife. Gabby, where are what? you? A wife? Gabby, where are you? And no, I'm not referring to myself because I don't call myself Debbie because that's not even my name. Debbie. Okay, it is my name, but that's beside the point. Debbie. <laughs> Crash <Yay>. Bill. <laughs> that's classic. That's the new name right there. <laughs> right? <laughs> Crash Bill. Oh, wow. Seen it before. Wow. Oh. Went up to a vehicle parked on the side of the road. The driver was actually deceased oh my god oh no tell, tell you hear that oh why yeah yes. Yes. roger you got any mr potato heads i need some mr potato heads i like mr potato, potato heads like They're like good. the old kind oh yeah no we don't want a wife for mr potato head we want a wife for debbie jay oh. where did you go not for me not for me i'll yeah, never get married again did y'all know that if I never get married again, I retire in 14, 13 and a half years really? just by not getting, yeah, because as a widower, you get uh, her retirement at age 60 if she worked more than 10 years, and if you were or married more than 10 years, I don't know, I qualify there. There you go. It's a long way to go. 
my mom and dad divorced when I was 12. My dad, my mom and dad, neither one of them ever remarried. They, for one thing, they absolutely adored each other, but they could not be married and live together. That's all there was to it. My dad specifically never remarried so that when he died, my mom would get his um, social security pay payments so oh, that, mm -hmm. you know, she would be his, so that she would be his widow when she would receive his social security. Did um, she get it early or did she have to wait until his retirement time? Um, no, he was already retired and so was she. Oh, okay. Passed away. okay. Yeah. Um, and when my dad died, she got my dad's, you know, she started receiving my dad's social security as his widow. <laughs> This is not to, this is just because my mom deserved this in her life. My mom right. had a very, very rough life. Her social security payments quadrupled when my oh, dad died. Awesome. Because well, that's my not dad, awesome, but that's awesome. You know what I mean? The, the money that my dad made while he was alive, my mom's social security payments quadrupled. That's because hers no may be down yeah, here. And all that money. You get to hire the two, whether it be hers or his, and then yeah, both uh -huh. of them go up to that level. So, yeah. yeah. All right. Got yeah. a dumb question for you. I'm 63. So, can I sign up for Social Security? You know what I mean? So, I can get monthly checks since I paid for it, paid into it, or since I'm on disability, I can't get elderly. So, you know what I mean? Money. Are you on SSDI? Are you on Social Security disability? Is that what you're on? Is the I are you on look. SSDI or are you on on federal disability payments? Because there's you a think it's a, you think it's already locked, Snoops. Once you take that, it stays at that. You think that's what it is? Well, see, okay. So if you're on Social Security disability, if you decide to retire and go go on to Social Security income yeah. go on yeah. go on your ssi then you'll lose your ssdi okay um you, it'll transfer over but the problem with doing that is that if you're receiving ssdi right now you're also receiving additional income towards disability you know medications and things like that for your disability so if you're gonna if you decide to retire as opposed to having the disability right then you can lose part of your um, disability income and okay. then you have to start paying for part A and part B on Medicare. I so, already do. <laughs> yeah, but it'll be higher. You oh, won't okay, have gotcha. added income to, well, it won't be higher, but you won't have the added income to pay your Medicare benefits package. Okay, I gotcha. So, so I'm better staying off where I'm at. I didn't know if I can get more money, you know, since I'm. No, you need to call or you need to log on and, and start your social security account and actually get them to answer the questions for you because they'll solve whichever one's higher for you. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> that's See, that's true. Every, every, everybody yeah. here, everybody here just puts an opinion out, but the proper yeah. answer is to go through them. Yeah. The, the, that's true. This is just my opinion. My apologies. Well, I'm going to be I, It's just I'm waiting through that right now because I'm not 62 yet. I can't retire. Okay. So I'm waiting through what I want to apply for and how I want to apply for it at the moment so that I can, you know, do the best for myself. Oh, so I understand. In my situation, I'm, you know, that's okay. Thank you, Brad. Now I'm going to shut up because Bradley made me shut up. I didn't sorry. mean to. Mm -hmm. I didn't sure. mean to. The information sure. is, is good. It's accurate. It's just that we don't want Caleb to be, you Spurs? know, without the opinion thing. Yeah. No, I got hurt in 08 in my 40s. So um, I was way too young to, you know, retire. But I couldn't work anymore. So there was only one way I, I could go. You know what I mean? So, in OA, there wasn't any jobs any damn ways. That was during the housing crisis. 
Oh, honey, I was making 20 bucks an hour as a nurse in 08. You like to brag a lot, don't you? Well, no, I was six months away from getting a traveling nurse for 60 bucks an hour. I wanted to do that. No, I wanted to. I told my daughter, I said, you need to become a traveling nurse. And then COVID, like right when my daughter was getting ready to go to college, COVID struck. Of course. You know, came up and uh, all the damn, the CDC was on the damn cruise ships out on the, the West Coast. And they were waiting yeah. to re release the, the virus to us. I wanted to do, and that's the best advice my daughter never took was becoming a traveling nurse. <laughs> well, I mean, I, I, 60 bucks an hour, they give you a vehicle, they give you free housing, they give you, you know what I mean? They pay for mm -hmm. everything. And I mean, I, I get that too now, but it's a mobile house. Nothing wrong with that. <laughs> Nothing wrong with that at all. What y'all think about? I, I don't have I don't have any bills. I like got a cell phone bill, a storage bill, and like auto insurance. So there you go. That's how I get to dick around for four months a year. Hmm. I'm ir I'm irresponsible now, living my best life. Well, about to try. I was two seconds from jumping on a a a, a caravan with some lady chasing ghosts. Hi, oh. Hold on, Carrie. I got something for you. Why is Kel Kel not up here with us? She's not feeling too good. This is for you, Carrie. Oh. Thank you, sweetheart. Thank you for becoming a member. Thank you. God bless you. Carrie needs to watch my manicotti, my flamingo manicotti video where I recycled the, the spaghetti pasta jar, turned it into a wine glass. Oh, that's pretty neat. That's pretty neat. Yeah, Kel Kel caught it. <laughs> <laughs> she was like, how much is it? I was like, I don't even remember how I finished that dinner. <laughs> <laughs> Oh yeah, Kel Kel's oh. having tummy issues, poor thing. Yeah. But her spider molted and grew bigger. It came out of its skin and it's a lot bigger. Oh, did she molt time already? Yeah. It's, yeah. Having it's, tummy a issues. it's a little girl, it sounds like. I'm so nauseous right now. Not even funny. Oh Sprite and you know what's really soda crackers. You know what's really kind of cool about spiders is that you don't know what, you may not know what sex they are unless they, you know, unless the species has different color patterns or different colors or whatever based on the sex. But um, what I think is cool is if you, if you don't know, then when they molt, you can, you can get the, the outer shell and you can actually look at it and i don't know how to do it but a professional or someone who knows something about it they can look at it and they can tell you whether it's a male or a female that's how <laughs> that's how she figured out hers is a female by looking out on the yellow oh show. really okay, yes well yes on so yeah she finally molded now she's got a blue hue to her with pink toes and pink lips why do I hang out with you guys? I have oh no my clue. God. I'm wondering really? the same thing about I myself. Am, are you reading the chat? Blacks. I got new neighbors. Black silver. You, you mean not nice surprised? Black, black, black. What? Just scaring the hell out of me, her, her and, and, and Caleb over here. Caleb. Caleb's I got new, new, lips, new not, boys. Not. I'm reading the chat and Blacks is over there talking about. Just read the chat. It's funny. Okay. It's horrible. You better be good to my Blacks. That's my girl. Blacks is my girl. You better be nice to her. We we love her. Yeah, you gotta be nice to her. No, we don't love her. I love her. Blacks. Oh, is my okay. Girl. Okay, they're all mine. So she kicks. She kicks Hands my off. ass. She kicks my ass on a weekly basis. I want to see that. 
She showed up to game night like 45 minutes late and still whooped my ass. I was way ahead, too. And then all of a sudden, she showed up. I tried to call the game. They wouldn't let me. Of course not. Of course not. 20 questions later, she's ahead. I'm still wondering what the hell a three-headed dog is. <laughs> I don't know what a three-headed dog is. Cow Cow said her, her mouth is pink. I don't think she has lips. I'm sorry, Cow Cow. I misspoke. Where's that cat? I got a cat. You got a cat? I got a cat running around here somewhere. My cat's being stupid right now. Okay, Cow Cow. That's the part I didn't want to know. <laughs> she has huge don't, things now. Okay, there are two things on spiders I try not to think about, okay? There are two parts of spiders that I try not to think about. <laughs> They're fangs and everything else about them. <laughs> Those are the two parts of spiders I don't like. Greek got yeah, you told me because I mentioned my three hundred and fifty dollar pair of shoes. Uh huh. She uh, blacks blacks was a Greek goddess apparently, like Athena. Nice. How are you, Carrie? There's Carrie. Hey, Carrie. Lady. Did I turn How are her you off? today, Carrie? You don't have Hello, to. Carrie? We don't. We we won't bite. I promise. <laughs> Well, Bradley might. I keep telling no, you, don't make promises. I, busted a I, can't tooth. I can't even believe I'm up here because I busted a tooth. Holy shit. I'm not you a busted a tooth? Ouch. Yeah, I busted a tooth on a crouton. I was talking funny for two days. Oh, that has to hurt. Did you get a fix? Oh, I'm, I'm pain didn't bother me. You were it's talking just... funny for two days? Yeah, because I keep on biting my tongue with it. Well, how would we know you were talking funny for two days? I mean, I, I don't know. I, I always talk I weird. That's pretty uh -huh. normal for me. No, you're you're spot on accurate. Yeah. Well, Carrie, you're gonna have to jump in, honey. <laughs> yeah, just dive in. You can't be sh sh shy around here. I think you scared her, Bradley. Oh. <laughs> I love Carrie. Carrie's like one of the first people I knew on YouTube. I know. I'm just giving. In fact, in fact, I think I think she was actually number four. You were you were actually the first person I talked to on YouTube. Really? I was giving you yeah. shit in Uni's uh, thing. <laughs> yeah, we were in we were in Uni's, but I didn't realize I didn't know Uni then. Right. Um, you and I were always bullshitting to the side, confusing the hell out of her. <laughs> yeah. Snaz kicked herself off. I mean, Snips kicked herself off. Oh no. How are you today, yeah. Carrie? You doing okay? Make sure your milk don't have a red line across it. She's watching my flamingo manicotti. That's what's happening. What are you going to cook? What are you Man. cooking? Yes, Kayla. What are you cooking? I ordered a pizza with a couple beers and a two liter Coke. What kind of beer? It's Moon. Hold on. It's good beer. I was shocked. I never had it before. I like Dosecchi's. It is Blue Moon. It's a Belgium white. It's a very smooth. I don't drink beer. <laughs> I got so, like two gallons of Jack Daniels in there. <laughs> I'm serious. For like three years, all my friends kept bringing me gallons of Jack Daniels. And I was like, I don't drink, but like six times a year. But I got <laughs> so much damn. I started adding it to the steak. There you go. I, I know, Kel Kel, it, it's good. It is a very smooth beer. I really like it. Are you there, Carrie? 
You're muted now, sweetheart. Can you hear me? There you Yay! Yes, there she is. Ah, I'm sorry. I had to get my studio no, uh, no. yards downloaded. Damn it. <laughs> oh, oh, come on. Well, thank you. How y'all doing? How are you? We're doing fine. I was naughty. I went spending money today, but um uh, it's okay. I, I I'm drinking. My boyfriend's gone. My boyfriend's gone, so they're gonna be trouble. <laughs> <And> I... <laughs> there you go. Ooh. If I'd have known that, I would have waited until tonight. For what? Whenever I was drinking my wine, I would have celebrated with you two. <laughs> I got. I had to work tonight, and I'm home now. And I got to work tomorrow, but not till four. So cheers. <laughs> oh shit! Hello. <laughs> Iron cowgirl over here. Hell yeah. Okay, I want to say something to Ski Mask Andy. Do you guys know who Ooh. Ski Mask Andy is? Yes. He always harasses me in every chat, saying I stopped Corey filming. First of all. Me and Corey Fillman are friends. If we were friends, I would, I mean, he would not consider me a stalker ever. Right. Get your facts straight there, buddy. Second of all, <laughs> second of all, no, third of all. Now it's third of all. Sorry. <laughs> um, and then he tells me in Savage's chat yesterday morning that, okay, they were talking about somebody and something about pooping. Kimmy, you were there. Do you remember what they were talking about? Um, what's her name? Oh, she's, uh, God, what's her name? Michelle? No. No, no, I'm talking about Savage. Her oh, morning Savage. chat. Morning chat. Okay. Okay. Um, what's her name? Anyway, it doesn't matter. And then he said, that Carrie likes to poop in her pants. Andy, what? how old are you? For second, third of all, fourth of all. Now it's fourth of all. <laughs> or pants for second and third. First. Now it's fourth. You're in trouble now, buddy. <laughs> no, I'm not kidding. Because he, he harasses me in every chat. I don't even know him. I've never talked to the dude. I don't even talk about him. He's irrelevant. He no. is he is just as crazy as Michelle. Just I guess. Him, just oh ignore him. I oh I blocked him. Cause yeah. I don't want him to like I don't you know one thing you all and uni taught me was that don't make it about yourself. And now yep. I what? because I blocked him. I don't want the chat to be derailed because somebody's that I don't even care about is making fun of me, you know. Just ignore him. Oh, Terry, like, you should always make it about yourself. Look, my name is Brad. <laughs> my name is Brad. I cannot walk around without just being Brad. I okay, that's not my point. My point is Brad. <laughs> you should make it about Carrie's my point. You should always Hey, I, you ever seen License to Drive? License to Drive is a good movie. I don't want to give this dude the time of day. So No, he, he's crazier than a... Mm, yeah. How old is he, anyway? In his 30s, almost 40s. Wow, he sounds like he's 12. <laughs> he looks like he could be 12, yes. 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 I'm sorry, but it's true, Andy. Playtime Andy is over. <laughs> Oh, you know what? He is so gross. I, he was talking to this Michelle lady. They were talking about her V, how dry it is, what their pubic hair is looking like. And it was bro, where, where the hell is Kel Kel to save my ass up here? <laughs> Hi, Kel Kel. Chills. Cheers. Oh my God. Cheers, that's boy. gross. <laughs> oh my God. That's right, Kel Kel. Rent free right there. Talk about him. It just makes him more relevant. Yes. 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 I'm just saying. This is my voice. I'm speaking out. F there you, you go. Andy. 
There you go. That's all I'm going to say. I'm not going to give him another thought. <laughs> I'm over here trying to win a Jason Aldean hat as opposed to Chaps. But no, really. Every In every chat, he says, Carrie's stalking and is in love with Corey Feldman. Okay, first of all, I'm not stalking him. Second of all, I've got twice. And you guys are like, who the hell cares? <laughs> but I care. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> Oh, hold on. I gotta turn off my speaker. Sorry. Yes. <laughs> okay. Can you guys hear me? Yes. Yes. I don't even have to look to know who that is. I'm like reading all the chat. We need to get blasted. Yeah. What's going on? What? Huh? Brother thinks you need to save him. I know. I heard yeah. that. So I'm fighting my yes. Okay. We're on my hero. You know, women, you know, most women are my heroes. Really. I was going to say, most, you know, you, know, okay, you're my so. hero. you know, Caleb's a hero of mine. Did you know that? She's oh, like my top sweet. 10. You're she so really sweet. is. You, guess who my number one female hero is? Uni. No, Woo! I love Uni to death. I love Uni to death. I mean, she's, she's awesome. She's absolutely awesome. Oh, Can congratulations to her, you guys. Oh, on her, uh, I forget the abbreviation for all that. But you know what it's I like mean. It's like a scholastic accomplishment. Yes. Yeah, she's absolutely brainiac. Holy shit. It's intimidating yes. talking to her. That's why I don't like talking about her, is because she like got like twice the brains I do. That and the other one over here in this chat. Um, yes, good. That one kicks my ass on the daily. Um, Black. Yeah, she's. They're both of them really super smart. Yeah, they are. Yeah. I'm not used to that. <laughs> I, <know. laughs> I dropped out like. I dropped out in like ninth grade and just went straight to college. You know, tested out nuclear propulsion. Went into the National Guard instead. Don't ask me what I was doing. <laughs> I was taking the easy route. They want to be stuck on a sub. What are you do? What are you drinking, Carrie? Bud Light. <laughs> Bud Light. I'm on a diet. Give me a break. <laughs> We're all on diets. I eat keto. Well, other than you talk guys, about milk. Oh, you guys. Next Friday. Okay, the 19th. My boyfriend turned 60, right? Six zero. I'm throwing him a wow. surprise party, and yeah. I'm gonna look hot. I'm gonna get a spray tan. I'm gonna get my nails and pedicure done, and he's not gonna know what's gonna hit him. <laughs> what the hell's wrong with you now? You look great now. There's nothing wrong with you now. No, he loves you just the same. Like I want to look like an Orange County housewife. That's just my opinion. <laughs> Sorry, yeah, do that. Oh, you're great. I'm drinking a hazy IPA. Huh? I'll be right back. Oh, where are you going? I'm going after my cheesecake. He's going to go get a bun of Ham and his cheesecake. No. <laughs> Look, I scared another one up. <laughs> Snoop's coming up here. Come on, grab the link, girl. <laughs> what? I called Super Snoops to get up here. Drop the link. I, I got the fabulous carry on, online over here. I'm. She's Hold on. A, Is that a bull up all I've seen on Bradley's side? Uh, no, you guys, I've been, I've been, um, I've been stressed. Also, he lost his dad last week, and I lost my dad a few years ago. So. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Is that a blow up doll you have, Bradley? A what? Look at Bradley's screen. Is that a blow up doll? Where are you looking? It You're looking like at the rock of a civilian. <laughs> no, I didn't mention it. Give me a look like that. Bradley. Oh <laughs> what? You guys are horrible. I don't know why I hang out with you. We love you. You guys really love us. What are you doing with a blow-up doll? 
Well, I don't want to know. I don't know yet. I, I'll let you know. If you're real. I mean, I can put it on a, a little start video, probably. I'm sure it'll fit. What is that, 60 seconds? Y'all's being mean. Y'all's bullying me. No, no. Oh, this is not bullying. Wait. Uh-oh. No. Where's the at? I'm going to get my cat to kick y'all's ass. <laughs> Snoop's here. There goes my cat. <laughs> Love you, Snoop. Where's she at? It's the lips. Where's the lips? What are y'all looking at? Y'all looking at the roof of the pavilion. No, no, oh. you moved it. Love there was what? A, it looked like a blow up doll. Wait, you had it. Look. Look. Look at my. Nice. Where you go? Where you go? Where oh, you go? look at that. Boat. My but my buddy Red Hearts, she bought it for me. Oh, sorry. I'm being annoying now. I'm sounding no, like No, you're fucking. <laughs> Where'd Cal Cal? Does Cal Cal hit the back button again? I don't know. Snoop's ran away. Mm -mm -mm -mm. That's okay. I had pizza and beer, so I am fine. This is my dinner. This is my dinner. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. We were supposed to be graded on presentation. On our on our dinners, yeah. And so I made like this badass presentation of a manicotti, and then like somebody like uh, defaulted. Oh really? Okay, um, I got you. I got you. All she had to do is like throw cheese on a pepperoni. She would have won. <laughs> I can't. I can't fucking cook. That's why I mean this shit. <laughs> I had kind of like beef stroganoff, but I put mushrooms in it. And it was very good. Very, very good. I was shocked. That's what I'm talking about. I like sauteed mushrooms and onions. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Take some heavy whipping cream, but I don't know how to cook. I don't know how to cook. You can cook. You can cook. Welcome no, I can't. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. I was married. I was in. A, I was in the relationship for eighteen years, and mm -hmm. she was always yelling at me to stay out of her kitchen all the time. We wouldn't even be in the damn kitchen. She'd be like, "Stay out of my kitchen." Oh no! <laughs> Brad, I'll share a picture of my chicken chili. Then Brad, I don't eat chili. I don't know. Come on up, Carrie. Where the hell did she go? She like she fell off. She fell off my phone. She's everybody's falling off. Bugs Bunny over here. Who's Bugs Bunny? Diving off. Did everybody leave? I think so. Everybody's leaving. Chicken chili then. Oh, she called me a brat? Is That better be a typo. <laughs> I remember her name so well because whenever I was in sixth grade, I had a band. Yeah? And our band was called Black Onyx. Oh, that's neat. Yeah, and that's Black Onyx 5150. I got to remember everybody's damn number because I don't know how to do what y'all do. When y'all sharing videos and shit. I'll help you. I think Kel Kel is 815. Yeah. I don't know. Mexican egg rolls. Oh, that sounds good. Heck yeah. That does sound good. I'm going to have to do that. So what are you going to do tonight, Bradley? I'm going to jump in that jacuzzi right over there. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. So that's, that's, about that's about it. I'm going to hook up my PS4. Who are you going to hook it up with? Like an Nintendo? Hook it up to my TV. Uh -uh. Uh -uh. 
<laughs> it's been too many years, honey. It's been yeah, too like, many yeah, years. electronic connection. <laughs> Would you say PS4? Don't they have like a PS5 now? Yeah, but I found this PS4 Pro for only a hundred and ninety-eight dollars. Yeah. Or, yeah, and that's pretty cheap. So I grabbed it. Oh wow. And I'll get uh, Hunter the PS5 for his birthday. Is he going with you to Iowa? Oh, yeah. And then he's going to join the Army. Really? Stop Why the Army? Him. What makes him pick the Army? I don't know. He's been talking about Army for a long time. I don't know. My birthday is the same as a Marine Corps. Nice. They have big Marine Corps ball. You don't see me joining that shit. <laughs> no, I did Oklahoma National Guard. There you go. I like, oh, went over to Arkansas blew the shit out of the hill. Oh, you played Zelda? I haven't played Zelda for a long time. We should do that. We should do an online um, it, video it, game. Let's do like it. Get Deb. All, all our friends. Get Deb. Like Debbie J. Well, Kelco has uh, <laughs> Dead by Daylight. I have Dead by Daylight. Let's do Dead by Daylight. Do you have grand grandchildren? Yeah. I got do four. You? I don't have any grandchildren. Don't come. I don't think I'm going to I don't think I'm going to be a grandpa. They'll come. Give them time. They'll come. She's young yet, yeah, you know. Once you have kids, it's kind of hard to, you know what I mean? Life's kind of a whole different ball game, you know? It's all about them. And all money goes to them, you know, basically. I don't know. My daughter's really, my daughter's really on top of hers. She's like really... She's like I, I rely on my daughter more than she does me. I, I got a really awesome daughter. That's cool. That is pretty cool. You're gonna make me hungry for cheesecake now. Oh, I'm sick of it already. Like I already want to change my whole damn name. <laughs> what are you gonna be now? Busted clutch again. You know, because the clutch is like the purse. It doesn't yeah. mean like a clutch in a truck. Yeah. Yeah. I gotcha. That was I my guess. nickname. That was my nickname when my daughter was in uh, junior high. So she's like, I'm going to see if dad's coming in clutch. <laughs> and I thought it was because I was in trucking, right? So I I put it up on the damn Netflix and the Disney and all, every damn little place where I, I had my own little accounts. Mm -hmm. I would put clutch, clutch on there and her friends would be laughing their asses off. And they're like, you're coming in clutch. <laughs> what the hell does that mean? My wife finally told me years later. <laughs> she had her wait years, huh? She didn't tell you right away? No, they let it go on forever. Of course, of course. It was really funny. <laughs> Laughing their asses off. <laughs> I was the, the joke. The dad. No. Oh, yeah, it was great. Well, you're just the dad. Wife, wife, you said what? <laughs> she wants to know what wifey said. <laughs> wifey said what? Oh, that. What? What clutch? Oh, wait, mean? This no, busted clutch. Yeah. Or that's my word was busted clutch. Yeah. Now, the. The daughter would call me Clutch, and all her friends would call me Clutch. Okay. And so I'd put it on like the the my account for Disney and Netflix and all that shit. That's what I put. My name was Clutch. There you go. <laughs> if you only knew. If you only knew. Well, now you know. Is this? Do you have anything like that? Oh yeah, I still use it every once in a while. There you go. I think it's funny as hell. No, I got rid of all my accounts. 
whenever I started hanging out with you guys on YouTube, I quit watching TV. I've just watched nothing but YouTube now. Yeah, me too. I like, I like tried TikTok and a bunch of others, and I just delete them right off my phone. I don't even want them on my phone. They're not even I'm fun. Just, I'm, ha I'm happy right here. And yeah. actually, talking to regular people is way better because you're in interactive. You know, even whenever you're in the chat, you know, I could say, hey, I actually know this person over here in California or Wisconsin. Yeah. What else you been you what else did you buy with um, what else did you go shopping for? Well, I got, like I said, a purse and a wallet that is leather and cow fur. Mm -hmm. I got a PS4, PlayStation 4. I got cowboy boots. I got a AR-15. Um, did you buy? Did you did you buy the the ammo? <laughs> yes, I did. I bought some ammo. Yes, I did. I'm still looking for two more guns, maybe three. I'm not sure yet. But um, kind of talked about. Talk to the owners of the house, and um, I think I'm going to call her tomorrow and see if she can um, send me some more pictures of it. And then I'm probably going to give them a price. For purchase or for rent? For, buy. And you're just done. Hell yeah. Then I can just move straight to that house. Hell yeah. It's yeah, a price of two bedrooms. It's just a furnace. Know. It's just a furnace. That's, that's bad, right? It's just the burn. No, it's not bad. She said it's very old, but it still works. Hmm. And you know, it's the price of the two bedroom homes I've been looking at. You know right. what I mean? Mm -hmm. For the cheaper ones, once I get them fixed up, guess what? I'm gonna have that much of money into it, maybe. You know what I mean? So I might as well get everything, something that's already done and just move in and just enjoy life, you know? All I have yeah. to do is put a fence in for the dogs and the, and the furnace and that's about it. I like that. That's I a nice, too. easy, keeping it nice and simple. Yeah. My buddy up there, he, he bought a farmhouse, and it, it's got, like, he, he says he can't even see his other neighbors. And uh, he initially bought a house in Florida. Then they sold that and right. doubled their money in, like, a year or two. Yeah. And took that money, the excess money, they went and bought a, a house at an auction. And just yeah. free and clear, just like that. I was like, man, that some people just hit the jackpot. Well, there's some um, homes I want to look at. They are um, foreclosed homes. Mm -hmm. And my son got some phone numbers for me to call. And I want to look at some foreclosed homes up there. So, but you got to be careful with foreclosed homes. You might have to pay back taxes and back, you know what I mean. Oh, in Oklahoma, you just pay the damn taxes. If they didn't pay it for three years, you just own their shit right then. Oh, really? I have to go back and hear myself. I had my hearing aid in so that the mic would work good oh you 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 did fine carrie you did great you actually did great okay i'm, I'm gonna, gonna, gonna i'm gonna, huh? I'm, gonna I'm, I'm i gotta challenge blacks to mario kart mario kart 8 oh i can get mario kart game on she's all in her her nintendo wii u are you done? Are you done with me? Am I that boring? No, I'm not. No, I'm not done with you. I'm running out of cigarettes. I'm thinking I might have to go for a cigarette run. She got I her started. eyes. I'm a professional driver, by the way. I got this. I, you got you this. I know you do. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on. Hold on. She's like she's in there. I'll, I'll beat you guys' butts. I'll beat you guys' butts. She's become my diabolical arch enemy. <laughs> That's what it is. She's gonna spank you on so many levels. <laughs> oh my god, you don't quit using that word. <laughs> yeah, you are that. not allowed. <laughs> <laughs> I'll have your junior play for me. <laughs> oh my god. 
Oh. Um, we 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 putting kids against kids. Is that what we're doing? We got champions now. Our kids are champions, right? They think they are. Man, my kid, whenever he was six years old, we had, yeah. or maybe he was five years old, we had Halo, the original Halo. Mm -hmm. And my kid, he wanted to drive the Jeep. Right. Wouldn't let him drive the Jeep. He said, Dad, I want to drive the Jeep. I was like, no, I'll get in this passenger seat. I'm going to drive the Jeep across the Halo, right. right? He throws a damn grenade in the damn Jeep. Blows my ass out of it. Gets in the Jeep and drives off. I respawn. I'm, my guy is chasing after the Jeep. I'm looking over at this little five-year-old. How do you... How do you do? How do you blow your dad out of a jeep? That ain't right. He's probably laughing. Oh yeah, he's just, that's the way it is. You know. I used to play Halo, and I got one of the Halo characters, um, one of those um, statues. Oh, the Master Sergeant. Yeah. We used to do uh, four TVs in the living room, and uh, we would invite people who had. Xbox or Xbox 360 or whatever it was, and uh, I had I had so many of those Halos I bought off of uh, Amazon. Yeah, we still had them in the wrappers for a long time. I bought like six of those damn things. I don't know how many. And my kids, they would discover them, and they'd borrow them, and then they wouldn't put them back. Of course. And my sons would come over, you know, every other weekend and stuff, and then. Um, after like three months, they had done barred them all. I was like, well, where are they going? <laughs> what yeah, is she saying? You know what? I used to play Halo all the time. And I sucked at that game. I really did. <laughs> she, used to, she used to play Mario Kart behavioral therapy and she wouldn't play nice with them either. <laughs> I'm telling you she's diabolical. <laughs> she's good. My boys play Halo. Do, do they? Do, I'm in over my head. Kate? What's... What? Caleb! What? What's the secret symbol? The signal? <laughs> she's gonna <laughs> kick my ass. Yes, yes. Do you have uh, Dead by Daylight? No, I don't. I got out of all of it. Oh, you need to get up. You need to get a game. You can get a dirt. Tape. No, my buddy over here, 30 miles over here, that's if he ain't at work. In fact, we used to do OTR together out of Adelanto. Okay. Uh huh. Hi, Minton. Mama. And whenever it's my turn to drive, He'd be back there playing. He's supposed to sleep for like eight to ten hours, right? He'd get like two hours sleep back there playing video games the entire time. I love him to death, and I I, I don't trust very many people with an eighteen wheeler. Okay. Yeah. But he barely would get any sleep because he was so damn addicted to the damn games. He's probably <laughs> over there right now playing. Of course it is. Kids are evil nowadays, so you can't go nice with them. You have to show them. This is. Yeah, yeah. Oh my right. gosh, you did not just use that quote from 300 Battle of Thermopylae. <laughs> Leonidas. Oh, ooh, here's a question. Here's, here's a question. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. Nah, never mind. I forgot the damn answer. No. Ask no if, she's like in the Greek, Greek mythology and Greek history and stuff. Okay. Obviously. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Miltiades, that was the damn answer. Okay, Miltiades was the answer. <laughs> okay. No, I don't... Well, you you know, before three hundred, they had um they had a battle similar to that, and Miltiades was extradited, and then he had to come back and help out the the Greeks. Yeah. And he's the one that like like freed the Greeks before. 300. Okay. Let's see I if I'm you. right. Let's see if I'm right here. I said my name was mentioned in Percy Jackson. What, like your real name? I don't even know what her real name is. Hank is like 20. He loves his online games 
and good at them. They they do get good. They really do. My son has a gamer chair and everything. I used to want to do that long time ago. My first gift to my first wife for her first birthday while we were married. Yeah. I fucked this up good. <laughs> I got her PlayStation 2. <laughs> like, I think I doomed that marriage from right then <laughs> and on. It just wasn't the same. <laughs> now, did you hog play in it or did you let her play it? Or she wasn't a player? No, when she opened it, I had to take the damn thing back to Walmart or wherever I got it from. <laughs> See, hold on. My husband, for my birthday, he gave me, my birthday's in March, right? He gave me a cookie jar of a snowman. Right. That was on sale for seven bucks. Wait. Like, what time of year it was? March. So it was already melted. It was just a glass of water. No, it was. Uh, a uh, 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 oh, come on, that was a good joke. <laughs> for Valentine's Day, a frog pin, a pin that's shaped like a frog for Valentine's Day. Right. No, that's not romantic at all. That's Carrie's not over. Here. Carrie's over here shooting shots for us. There we go, Carrie. <laughs> that one for me. The couple beers, it just makes me relax and nice and, you know, oh, shit, I can't drive. I had a couple beers. <laughs> oh, my God. I haven't drank for a long time. Oh, you call that, that call that Tesla back over there. <laughs> that breaks down. <laughs> How'd she break down? Did it, like, run out of power? She charged it all freaking night, right? And right. I had to go to court for my settlement, right? Right. So I was nervous. I didn't want to drive because I didn't, because my mind would be on the, you know, on court. So I paid this lady, and she had a brand new Tesla. She got halfway there, and she needed to charge, but it charged all night. It charged all night. It ran out of power, so she charged it for a half an hour. She only got not five miles and it ran out of energy or juice or whatever. And I never made court. Kimmy, Carry over, carry over here. <laughs> oh, carry. You. Nothing wrong with girly shots. Why did she get down so she could go get shots and, and Bud Light? I Oh, I don't know. Her battery was bad, was it? Oh. Oh, okay. Mine's that's why mine's sideways now. I don't know why she didn't take her other vehicle. I mean, if she knew her battery was bad, I miss court. You know what I mean? But it is what it is. They cost that. Yeah, just cancel a ride and catch another catch another Uber. It was in the middle of nowhere between cities, and we called and called and called and could not get the tow truck beat the taxi. The Uber wouldn't go, come. Right. My lawyer wasn't happy, so I just told him to settle. So it is what it is. What? Yeah, I didn't get, make it to court. I just told my lawyer to settle, and that's why I well, only he, got hundred thousand. He got he got commission though. So he, if he gets commission, then he's going to work his ass off to get you the max amount, anyways. Yeah, well, I got two hundred thousand. I can't complain. You're not supposed to say that. <laughs> you know, did they get refunded? No, I didn't get refunded. No, no, girl. I had to help pay for the tow truck. She ran out of money. It's okay. It's okay. You know, 
it is what it is, you know. But, uh, you know, somebody already asked me for a car. Somebody already asked me for a down payment of a house. Right. <laughs> Just oh, laugh oh, and act oh, like oh, I didn't oh. understand. Why, 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 why do you get to be the one hurt paying for everybody else's shit? I'm not. I'm not. That's not fair to you. No. I am going to get Roger a PS4 and a TV so he can play PS4, play games. Shit, I might get him one. Hell, I don't know. I love Roger to death, but he don't ask for much. He don't ask for anything. I don't think he asked for that either. We probably heard it through the grapevine. You almost have to, like with Roger too, he's probably got one of everything. I'm not over here looking for a damn potato head from him, you know? I'll send you a potato head. I'll send you a potato head. You want a potato head? It's just going to go in storage next to my, all my unicorns. Okay. <laughs> you know, I get all those unicorns with the uh, reward points for fuel. Reward no. points. That don't look right at all. Okay. Reward points. Whenever I buy $600 worth of fuel per day, you get like, I think you get like five cents per gallon. Okay. At you know, two hundred gallons a day. Yeah. That shit adds up quick. It's a pretty cool job. Yeah, me too, Black. Me too. I mean, I don't ask for anything. Um, I'm not that kind of a person. Um, but when somebody asks me for a down payment of a house, <laughs> I just told her good luck with that. <laughs> Blacks has um, a funny issue, and I have a funny issue, and they kind of they're quid pro quo. I always have every time I go over the road, I yeah. always have this problem of where to put my damn truck. <laughs> okay, like who's gonna watch my stupid truck for me, right? Right. She can babysit my truck. Who? Anybody but my kids. Oh my god. There you go. Actually, my daughter is like a really good driver, but I she used to be helped a lot with people before. She got sick, and then when she got sick, nobody was there. I'm so sorry. People are like that. People she's are gonna, like, she's mm -hmm. gonna fucking trigger me again. Holy shit. Well, the last time I got a settlement, one of my friends asked for $800. She was really behind on bills and all that. So I gave her $800, right? Do you believe she gave half it away? And then she started hinting around again. I go, no, I already gave it to you. Wait, how much? 800 she gave 400 away. Then she asked for another $400. And I said, no, I already gave you the $800. What you did with it, it's on you. You know what I mean? You're talking about off-site, right? Like, not yeah. on this site. No, right? off-site. Was that why I was donating to the puppies? Uh, did you no. saw on your site? No, 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 no. You seen that puppy video, right? I showed you the yes, receipt. Yes, I know that. Yes, okay. I know. And you I am see those totally. Me I am. I am messing. I am messing with you. You know. I think you. I told you. To, I. T I told you to go buy lobster dinner anyways. <laughs> I wanted you to go find a lobster dinner. Remember, I was asking if there's lobster yeah. dinner in town. Go what do that. It? No, we did. I did take my son out to eat. Where? Where? Where was it? Uh, we went to Five Guys, and we had hamburger. Thank you very much. I think a June bug is attacking me. Oh, no. Oh, no. I'm still here, Bradley. You like license to drive? Fun, funny things, Corey Feldman. She really she really went way back on that video. What? 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 <laughs> well, I was asking her whenever she was talking about Corey. 
Corey Haim and Corey Feldman. I don't think she likes Corey Haim. I think it's just Corey Feldman. And who is, uh, who is Corey Feldman? You don't remember Corey Feldman and Corey Haim? No. Are those the two Corys? One died. Yes. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah, I do know him. Okay. Well, Carrie like is like in tight. She's like. Like I am a Swifty fan. I love Taylor Swift. Have I ever told you that? Yeah, that's all right. I need Taylor Swift to one day she'll write a song about me. Okay, I gotcha. My next ex-wife, right? <laughs> there you go. Ching, Bradley sucks. There's your song. <laughs> I'm sorry, Carrie. But Carrie is a huge fan, and that, that old boy was tormenting her about, about her being a fan. Oh, that sucks. That's effed up. I have people that that aren't even like super famous that I get nervous whenever they call. You know, oh, really? Yeah. Oh yeah, I get starstruck too. Aww. I'm sure if Michelle Branch ever called me, boy, I'd be, I wouldn't be single anymore. Holy shit! <laughs> I've loved Michelle Branch forever. Nice. Game of love. <laughs> yeah. How the hell did y'all think that was a blow up doll there? What? Do you, how y'all know? We seen blow -up something. Doll? It looked like lips on there, and it looks like a head. It's and a I, rope of a. It's a. No, no, no! You need to go back and look. It looks like it was a head, a blow up head. I don't know. We'll see if it answers. What? Yeah, blow up doll. Oh my God! Did you hear that new? Uh, what is it? Uh, Kenny Chesney song. I've been listening to it all day. Really? Oh yeah, he's got a new album. It's like four months old, but still, like I don't pay attention to shit. She I'm telling. Her, she forgot her name when she met Tina Turner. <laughs> Simply the best. Oh, I love it's Tina Turner. Cool. She was the best. Goonies, was Corey cool. Feldman. Oh, blacksmith Tina Turner. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Hell yeah. Mm hmm. Uh, Patrick Duffy. I met him when I was in my 20s. See, Carrie seen it. It was a blow up doll's head. Can you play? Can you play music on your channel? Yeah. Well, uh, I'll get. Will you get docs? What? Will you get docs if if you play? I'm fine. I, mean, I can okay. play it if you want. No, I'll play it. What do you want to hear? It's um. Well, I don't know. It's uh. You should you should listen to it when you get a chance. It's Kenny okay. Chesney. And what it's, is it? It's wherever you are is what it's called. Kenny Chesney. Wherever you are. Okay, here it is. To my okay, ex. That's, I think it is. Okay, I'm going to see if this is it. Okay, ready? Let's see. I'll get it. Here we go. All right. Whoops. Him and Debbie Gibson. I, I seen what you said, Black. Hold on. I have to. It scooted over for me. Um. Are you a Katy Perry fan also, Gary? Patrick Duffy gave me a kiss on the cheek when I was in my early 20s. Is that the Is that lover boy Who Patrick no that's Patrick Dempsey Who the hell is yeah. Patrick Dempsey He was on the Dallas 
Oh, okay. Is that it? I'm telling you. That ain't even close to being it. Hell no. <laughs> okay. Hell no. Okay. The, the Kenny Chesney, Kenny Chesney, Kenny Chesney. Okay. Wherever, wherever you are, I believe that's what it's called. It's a really good country song. I just heard it today. I've never heard it before. Tina Turn thought that blacks had great legs. Janet Jackson, Paula Abdul, Stevie B. Who's Stevie B? You will go. Uh, American Kid. Where I Grew Up. Tequila. Anything but mine. Alexa. Play Kenny Chesney. Yeah, I got it. Wherever you. Alexa, volume 10. Can you hear it? Yeah. Don't know where I was when I first heard that you had left the parts of the road. Nice. I struggled some to find the word. Alexa, turn off patio music. I'm telling you, you need to listen to that song. That's a really good song. I will. You'll probably make it like one of your theme songs. I know I'm going to. If I ever figure out how the hell to do whatever you're doing here. I Did you see you. me go live? Did you see my live? Mr. Yes, Pork. I missed it. Mr. Mr. Pork was the only person in my live. I was so, I was like, wow, I got Mr. Pork. Here, why didn't you tell me? I would have been there. Because it was the eclipse happening. You only got like two two minutes for that to happen. Well, next time you go live, you message me, and I will be there. I caught it afterwards, and I felt bad. I grew up with a sibling that is security, so I follow and met stars at the concert all through the 80s and 90s. Nice. No, Bradley, it was funny. I told Corey years ago that I love Debbie Gibson, and I used to send him Debbie Gibson songs, and he remembered that. Oh, <laughs> okay. She met Eddie Murphy, Janet Jackson, Paula Abdul. Stevie B, Babyface, Pebbles, okay, and many others. Wow, that is neat. I'm impressed. She did security for 17 years. Wow. Holy shit, her and Debbie J. Yeah. I can't hang out with none of y'all. <laughs> you know who I want to hang out with? Who? Have you ever met Sicilian Princess? Not in person, but yes, I've met her. But you know who I'm talking about. Yeah. I want to go to New York and go ride the subway with her. And I already know, I already, I love Sicilian Princess. She is so freaking cool. Yes, she like, is. Like, I'm sure a fight would break out. I'm just not sure if I would be on her team or not, you know? <laughs> <laughs> she just seems like the kind of New Yorker that whoops some ass. I love her to death, man. <laughs> She's cool. She really is. She's she really so is. <laughs> I met Metro Valley as a kid. He gave me. Oh, wow. Metro. Muhammad Ali. Muhammad. Okay. As a kid, he gave me a set of boxing gloves. All oh, that would be cool as ah! Oh, wow, that would be cool. That would be cool. Yeah, that would be awesome. Shit! I once got I once got my ass whooped by a boxing association. <laughs> really? Yeah. There's twenty of them and only two of us. There's supposed to be like. 15 of us, but yeah. once we got up there to, you know, they were like, what do you two want? We turned around like, <laughs> everybody else is gone. <laughs> <laughs> At least you went forward. You didn't back that way. <laughs> I mean, never mind. <laughs> my backup. <laughs> that was my nickname in school, baby. Oh, Holly. 
That is awesome. Baby Ollie. That is awesome. She that also is- she also drag races. Really? Yes. Like she's pretty nifty. Oh, that is awesome. Well, I'm not that fun. I used to ride horses and I did the figure eight races in Iowa. You were a while. I used to race my car. Street race. <laughs> I because I'm out here next to Remington Park. Yeah. They they would uh the guy down the road from me would pay me as a kid. He'd pay me five dollars a day to ride the horses because what they were were old race horses that were retired out and changed into stud horses, but people right. would want to buy them to ride them. Right. And so he would hire me to train them to ride slow. And I'd get on these freaking horses and you just hold on because they are nothing but go. Oh, yeah. And, and you know, without the blinders on and all that other stuff, the horse goes wherever the hell it wants to go. <laughs> it does not <laughs> care any further. And so that was my first job. I did that for like, I don't know, like probably two years. I think I did that two years. See, when I was and, a teenager... My parents bought a horse, uh, a barrel racing horse, and I got on her, and as soon as my toe hit hit the saddle, you know what I mean, to get in the saddle, Mm -hmm. she was off. She was off, and she took those barrels so low, I swore I could touch the ground with my hand if I reached out. You know, it's like, uh, all you had to do is hang on. She knew what to do. But I'm like, oh, no, no, no. I can't do that. No, 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 no. I'm scared it's going to fall off. She's going to go watch a Corey Feldman movie. Just kidding. Just Love you guys. Kidding. Thank you for keeping me company anytime, Carrie. You're awesome, Carrie. I love wonder if she, like, just shows up, like, just happy-go-lucky. Like, she, I don't know that Carrie has a care in the world. Well, you know, we're going to meet her when we go paranormal hunting. You know, you paranormal. are. I got to go back to work. Well, you could take a few days off. We'll meet Carrie. I just took a month off. Morning. I just took, I took, I took half of October, all of November. Uh, Yeah. And then I worked three months and now I, I just took a whole nother damn month off just now. Not to mention whatever the hell I did last year. Black, the the deal is you got to, they know they can bully you around. You got to be boss because I had Arabian and the first time I get on him, every time I get on him, it was always a half an hour who's going to be in charge. He would backstep, sidestep, rare, rare, you know. And after an hour, he settles down and he's fine. You got to show who's boss. Kimmy, why the hell are you setting me up? You did not mention any. It's carried and spilt the beans over here. Look at this. Yes. Iowa Axe Murder House. Yes, we're going to Iowa Axe Murder House. Is this why we're buying all the pew pews and shit? No, I'm going to get uh, paranormal, you know, so they can speak to us and, you know, the MP met- meter and all that. So we can detect them. Hey, you going to hit me with the MP meter? Go if I can hit you with anything you want me to. <laughs> Sorry. I hate you sometimes. <laughs> I just want a Jason Aldean hat. <laughs> From Langston. Do y'all have Langston's there? Uh-huh. What's it called? What's the Shepler's Western Wear Outlet? Oh, Ooh. yeah. I just went to Boot Barn. Hell yeah. That's where I got my cowboy boots and got my son a hat and boots and I got myself a purse and yeah. Where the hell did I go? I went down there. Where where was that? North Carolina. What's the city on the south side? Just just over the state line. What is it? It's not Charlotte, is it? Charlotte's four hours kind of like in the middle. I love you too, Carrie. I think that's where I went to, where I ended up at war with my dispatch. Oh, I gotcha. Charlotte's a rough town. I don't like Charlotte. 
there's Raleigh too. It might have been Raleigh. I used to do uh, Durham. Yeah. Durham, Raleigh to Chicago on the Mel. Yeah. And it, it was a whole 18 wheeler. They wouldn't put shit on there. I'd be empty just going back and forth before Christmas. As long as they pay you. Yeah, I got paid, but man, it was it was dreadful, I'll tell you that. I bet so. My neighbor's horses come to my door monthly. I have to call them or have my son take them back. <laughs> we get carrots for them. There you go. There you go. You know what they like? Give them chewing tobacco. Horses love chewing tobacco. I think they have a 20 mule road out there. That's what the I road's called. 20 mule team road. I bet so. There's like a there's a loves out there that's soft. I bet so too. And you know what where else? Oh hi Matthew, how are you? Welcome, welcome, welcome. You know where else would be fun? Where I want to take carrying all that to um Lizzie Borden's house. 20 miles is okay. Come on up, Matthew, if you're still here. 20 miles is 16 miles from us. Wow. 20 Mule Road is 60 miles away. Yeah. Oh, well, that's pretty cool. And then, Mr. Pork, we're going to go to uh, PA. And there's a house that, like, if you and I and Cal Cal go, we'll look into this house and they have. D doppelgangers like it'd be you and me and Kelka would be in the house looking right at us i'm telling you you need a bus you need a bus for everybody you want to take and it's going to be great you want to get a like, bus i think you should get a bus and i think you should i should think you should get commercialized and everything else and let let like youtube commercials and stuff pay pay for all that stuff there we go Yes, I'm going to go that way. Calico goes down. Yes. We're going to definitely hit that. And we're going to have overalls. This is I see you two on the back. I told you that and our names on there. We're going to go um, meet uh, Super Snoops. We're going to get, take her paranormal hunting in her area. I don't see? know why you want to take me. I keep on telling you I have my wife's spirit riding with me. Well, that's good. Yeah, well, I was given CPR. I felt it go in. There you I'm go. Not even, I'm not even religious or anything like that. I really didn't ever believe any of that stuff. It's it true. Sounds crazy. It sounds crazy just me saying it, but it's, it's what I felt. You know what? I talked to a person that has passed and came back. Mm -hmm. She was so angry at the doctors for bringing her back. She said... The love and the peace and the happiness on the other side is so much that she did not want to come back. And you see, I don't think I don't think it got to that point um, because I was like really sick for like, I don't know, like probably a month and a half. I like had zero energy. Oh, wow. And I mean, I was dragging big time. And that's why I have that that uh, phobia of uh, Walmart shopping and grocery yeah. shopping and all that. I didn't do that shit. I didn't do that shit for uh, four years or three years. I didn't do that shit at all. And uh, so, whenever uh, after it happened, it was like a, it was like a boost of adrenaline that has not stopped. Like I, yeah. I am still on it. Like that's awesome. like I'm over here doing pull ups and picking up all kinds of shit out here. That's awesome. And I do too. Black, I, they never leave us. They don't. They don't. And I, and had I, a made, hmm? I made the final payment of the uh, diamond I'm having crushed. I made that nice. final payment. So that's in the mix. But I'm not supposed to talk about that. It's supposed to be easy. How much is it to do that? Uh, it depends on what size of diamond. You can start it at Right, just I think twenty eight hundred is the minimal. Okay. And then like sixteen thousand is like the the big diamond. Yeah. But um, I think it all takes a half cup of ashes, no matter. Or was it two cups? I think it was a half cup. I think it was a half cup. But also, you can add like 
if if you wanted to do it for your puppy or something, they do uh, like for Athena if you wanted to. I don't know if it's the same the same price. Right. But you could take your fingernail clippings or your hair. Yeah. Which I guess I would use this hair. And you could have it blended in. Really? That's a pretty cool process. Well, uh, Athena's out in the yard by my window, so she's already. Yeah. Somebody tried to dig her up. Yeah, I heard that whenever you uh, you were alive last time, I believe. That was Remember? so effed up. I mean, the. The you said the shovel, yeah. You said yeah. the shovel was out there, all kinds of weird yeah. shit. And it wasn't no animal because the animal's paws would look. And why would my shovel move to where hey, I've had weird shit happen? Like, it's like I do not know about people sometimes. Like, I don't know if you got like crack habits around you, yeah, or yeah. They, they like think you're burying treasure back there or some shit. I really don't know. Some people do weirdest damn stuff. They got my brother. I, I seen my brother. My brother, he just left my house back in 2015. He just left, and uh, he he's. I always thought he was defiant. He just never really wanted to have a job or really wanted to participate in society. Right. But then they tell me he had Asperger's or some shit. Oh. That was the first I ever heard of it. Hell, I was like, I think I was 38 years old at the time. Yeah. 2015, I was 37. And he just wandered off, right? We'd lost him for like three years. Oh, wow. And then one day I was parking my truck over at the Walmart over here. And there this guy is. And everybody thought we murdered him or some shit, you know? Wow. And uh, I'm like, hey, wait right there. And my daughter was picking me up in my, my pickup. Right. And I was like, hey, put it in four-wheel drive and drive off into this field. And that's when we found him. He didn't know who the hell I was. He had oh. no clue who I was. There is no telling what, you know, what they're on. So I, I told, uh, you know, everybody, hey, yeah. this is where he's at. You know, don't bring him back to me because all this shit, there was a lot of drama. Yeah. And, uh, you know, not one person. No, my brother did. My brother went out. My other brother went out. There. But he just went right back to the same spot. He, mm. he left two warm houses. He left to go live in that ditch. People oh, do weird shit. Yeah, you, never know why, you never know why they're trying to dig up Athena. Oh, my son was so mad. He said, if I ever catch the SOB that's doing it, he was going to beat the holy heck out of him. You know. Calm him down. It's probably yeah, best to just know. call the cops. Just, you know, if anything ever happens, just. Yeah. It's, yeah. You gotta, you gotta swallow your pride and do it the right way nowadays. I know. I know. I know. I think the military is going to be good for Hunter. It'll give him structure and, you know, a purpose and responsibility. I think it'd be. Wow. Really good. Thank you, Blacks. That was that's the way I believe it. Yeah, they don't leave us. Energy's got to go somewhere. Yeah. Yeah. Do you believe we've been on here for three hours? It's been are you awesome. Gonna invite, are you going to go pick up Blacks and, and go with her? Oh, I'm oh, just yeah. up. I'm just up. I didn't even realize it was... Midnight? Oh, man. It's, it's midnight 30 over there, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Yep. I I yeah. started around eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. I can drive now, can I? Yeah, I can drive. <laughs> we'll get some cigarettes. I'm not authorizing it. I don't know. <laughs> I mean they're little tiny bottles, they're not big bottles. A couple sips and it's done. Pay about five bucks. <laughs> I'm going to let you go get your cigarettes and whatever soda you want at the or whatever drink beverage you want. <laughs> All right. Well, good night. Love you. Love you. Love you. Good night, Blacks. Good night, Carrie. Good night, Blacks. And I think Matt, was it Matthew was watching too? Yeah. Good night, Matthew. Catch Here you guys we later. Treat with your red lips and funky beat. You better hold your head. Okay, 
Black, let's go on. I don't know why my exit thing isn't working. But love you all. Thank you for coming in. Uh, let's go over to JJJ's. And after I get my cigarettes, I'll be there. But thank you. Give yourself a big hug. This is from Kimmy Love. I love you all. And thank you, everybody that was on the panel. Thank you, everybody that was in the chat. Love you. See you on the YouTube streets. Bye.